only 18 points clear of Serie A. They top their Champions League group stage and have one of the best young talents in the world right now who cannot stop scoring. And to be fair, you can see why they're doing so good because this team is amazing. I mean, they have one of the best strikers in the world in Aussie Man. The midfield is strong. The defense is good. And of course, as I mentioned, the young talent on the left-hand side. I'm not even going to attempt to say his name. Please help me in the comments. I think for now, we'll just call him the Wi-Fi passcode. And to be fair, we actually have some great players on the bench as well. This is going to be a fun career mode. We have 65 million euros to spend, but guys, we do have some rules. We can't spend more than 30 million euros per player, and we can only make three signings in the summer window. So when it comes to making improvements, I think maybe we start with the defense, maybe a left back, because this guy is now 31. Maybe also a young center back with loads of potential. Get all your suggestions in the comments. If you guys are excited for this brand new Napoli series, drop it a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn the bell on. When it comes to left back, we could go in for this guy. He's Italian, 21, has 85 potential, and starts at 75, so we can definitely sign him under 30 million. Or maybe the Spaniard, Frank Garcia from Rayo Vallecano. Same potential, same overall. He's just 22, so a year older. The big question you guys probably have is, what's going to happen to Victor Ozyman? He's 84, he's 23, he's one of the best strikers in the world, as I said, and he is linked to a lot of clubs, Chelsea, Manchester United, but the chances are he'll probably leave next season, so for him to stay, we need to reach the semi-final of the Champions League. To be fair, the rest of the squad is actually quite old, like 27, 28. Of course, we have this youngster on the left-hand side. I mean, we have a few young players on the bench. Endombele, of course, is on loan from Tottenham. If we want to keep him, we've got to permanently sign him. My suggestion for centre-back, I don't know how we've never signed this guy, but Antonio Silva from Benfica. This guy's got 88 potential, so he's an exciting prospect, and we could definitely sign him under 30 million. Another great option for centre-back is Hinsapi from Bayer Leverkusen. 20, can also play left back, got great potential. Let me know in the comments who you think we should sign at centre back. We're actually now going to put an offer in for this Italian left back. Try and make our fast sign it. His name is Parisi, I believe. So we're going to put in around 13 million. Test the waters. They want a current left back. We don't actually want to get rid of him as we won't have a backup. So if we up that to 14 million, see what they say. They want a 4% silent clause. Yeah, that's fine. Lock him down on a five year deal when it comes to wages. We'll up that to 35k a week. 100k signing on bonus. He should say yes to that, and he does. And here he is. He's got the new shirt on. There he is with the manager. Our first signing. 14 million. What is the game going to rate this? I'm going to say it's an A. And it's an A. So that's a very good signing. I didn't realize we had this left back. Oliveira, have you say his name? He's 24 at 77 overall. We didn't even need to sign that left back just then. You guys probably realize that as I was signing him. I guess we're just going to have to put this Mario on the transfer list. Cash in for him. How much is he worth? 12 and a half million. So we can basically get that money back. Now we have this center back, Juan Jesus, 31, 76 overall. We have an offer from West Ham. Now if we're going to sign a new center back, we might as well free up a space and cash in. 5 million West Ham will accept that. Now Ajax are making an offer for the left back we're trying to sell. They're trying to offer a supplier, but we want money for him. 13 and a half million. We'll try that. And they straight up say yes. Now I know the manager looks nothing like me, but can you guys let me know in the comments? He looks like an actor, but I can't figure out who. I will get my face scanned, so I'm actually in the game. And Mario is actually off to Freiburg for 16.9 million. So we managed to get a lot more for him, and it's only a C. Our best possible deal would have been 23 million. Well, we now have 75 million euros to spend. And remember, guys, we're going to make three signings. We already made one, so we have two remaining. When it comes to the Youth Academy, we have this Italian striker, Colombo. What a name. We've currently got him as a complete striker. 67 overall. Perhaps this guy could be the replacement to Ozyman next season if he actually goes. And we've officially loaned him out to Sheffield United for two seasons. So we should definitely grow now. Now, our first game in the league is against this side. Cremonesi, have you say the name? I'm going to bet this to be a straightforward game. We can put out our strongest 11. I'm really excited what Victor Ozyman and this Wi-Fi passcode can do in this one. Here's an opportunity for them early on. Take a shot. What a block. Still not gone, though. Across the box, we get there. There's Lozano. Long ball there to the Wi-Fi passcode. You guys need to let me know how to say his name. Here's Ozzyman out wide. We can return the ball to him. Or out wide there to... 
This guy, 1-0, there we go. Our first goal in Syria. I'm pretty sure this is Zielinski. I don't know why he goes by his first name, but that's a great assist there by Victor Osimhen. And a fantastic finish, 1-0. Here comes the right back, maybe a cheeky pass shot. Here we go, go for that handball, potentially. Referee goes back and says it's a foul. We've got a fantastic opportunity from the free kick. Now, I normally bottle free kicks. I want to get this at one in. Over the wall, enough power. He gets it up and over. Oh, it's hit the post. Are you kidding me? Here he is on the ball. He's definitely going to score this game. Still got the ball. Going to hit it from this nope. angle. Oh, straight at the keeper. Go on, win the header. Oh, fantastic. Here's Lozano. Another power shot. Hits it nicely Whee! over the bar. Oh, Zelinski and that other guy who scored a complete different players. Here's the left back. Going to hit it on his left foot. I should have sweat that across. Oh, here they come. Here's a good opportunity. If we get a draw in this game, that would be horrific. What a save. Got a couple of subs on now. Corner to the opposition. We can definitely head that one away. Or can we? Go like clearance. I tell you what, we need this second goal because they're doing well. The CDM is through on goal. Surely he scores this on nope. his right foot. Oh, we've missed it. Well, that's a good tackle there. That centre-back's actually linked to United, I'm pretty sure. Here's Raspadori on the ball. Still got it. Still got it. What a run. Oh, that's a great goal. 2-0 Napoli. We've won it in the 87th minute. Confirming the three points. Then Napoli fans go crazy. And that really was a fantastic run. It's a set of board, but I am actually playing him at camp. A third goal would be fantastic. I really want man. Aussie man, he, he still hasn't scored. Still got the ball on his left foot. Oh, what a goal. Victor Ozzyma posted it, borrowed it. I don't know what it hit. Do you know what? I'm so excited for this series. We have a talented side with some exciting players. Goal line technology says it's in just about. It came off the crossbar. And that is an exciting way to start off the season in Serie A. 3 0 win. I tell you what, Zelinski must be a popular player because Benfica won in West Ham and Real Madrid. I guess in our round, who's that player who just kind of glues the whole side together? That 83. Rated center mid. He's definitely going nowhere this season. So Zelinski and Lobotka are actually different players. This guy's also 82 rated at 27. So I'm guessing he's really good as well. We do have the scout reports back for these center backs now. Hinsape, 78 overall. We could get him between 29 and 36 million. The chances are we won't be able to buy him. 30 million is the limit. With Antonio Silva, 25 to 31. Guys, we need to be quick because if one of these players goes up a rate, then we will not be able to get them. I want to sign this guy. Let me know in the comments who you think we should sign. Our second game is Torino. This is definitely going to be a more challenging game. It's away from home. I don't recognize too many of their players. But once again, we can put out our strongest side. This center back, Kim Min Jae, is now 81 overall. And I'm pretty sure he is actually linked to Manchester United. So we want to hold on to this player. I'll tell you what, in the first game, we actually controlled it. It's 65% possession. So I'm expecting another win here. We need to get the game set and finish a little bit earlier than the last one. Here's a counter-attack for Torino. He's going to try work this ball into the box. Here's number 77. It's offside. Well, that's a nice pass out wide there to the left back. Just go straight around him. Beautiful bit of play. We'll get this now to the center mid. Power shot winds it up. Takes a block. Oh, that's a nice tackle by Kim Min Jae. That's a beautiful tackle, Kim Min Jae. We can actually keep the ball. Here's Lozano. That's a run by Ossiman through the middle. Victor Ossiman, poor touch. Here's Kim Min Jae. Nice ball out wide there to Lozano. He's a very good center back. Now we've got this guy. Long shot. Here's Lozano. Slips up there to Ossiman. He can get through this gap. Still got the ball. This is what he's capable of. Victor Ossiman with the finish. One now. Doesn't need to sweat it. More than capable of scoring that. I don't know what the camera's doing. That is a fantastic finish by the number nine. Let me know in the comments how many goals you think he'll score this season. Oh, that's a beautiful ball out wide there to the left back. Liverer or whatever his name is. Now we've got Zielinski. That's there to the CDM. Pass shot oh, wide from goal. We need to be doing better. Still no goal for this guy on the left hand side. You guys need to tell me I'd say his name. I'm not going to call him Wi-Fi pass code every time. Still got the ball going past everyone here. Is this the time to score? Oh, what a goal. What a fantastic finish. Bar it in. Nice Nice dribbling as well. Just going through like two or three players. The finish was what the goal's all about, though. A post in it. Top corner. Fantastic. There he is again on the ball. Perhaps a long shot on his right foot. Oh, oh, no. Why's that not gone in? Oh, come on. I'm just angry now. I'm disappointed.
Oh, we've scored. Look, look at him. He's walking away. He's not happy as well. That was fantastic. Look at that. And it just doesn't go in. Zelinski scores. It's a tap in. Call him CR7. <laughs> oh, Kim Min Jae. Fantastic awareness as a centre back there. He's coming for you again. Nice tackle. Oh, referees are wet wipe. I didn't know we have English referees in Italy. Ossiman's making the run. We got wide to Lozano. Back to this guy. Nope. Oh, what a save. Here comes Lozano. Nice pass there to Ossiman. Got subs on now. Out wide to Elmas. Still Elmas on the ball. Back to Ossiman. Ossiman. Oh, what a save. Oh, that's a header and a half. Raspadori on the ball. Scored last time he came on. Can he do it now? Pass it another. Still Raspadori. Still Raspadori. Nope. Oh, rebound. Oh, this guy's class. Number 81 is on loan. Perhaps we need to sign him permanently. Well, that could have been a penalty there if we got that wrong. Come on, clean sheet. What a save. This is on ultimate difficulty, by the way. We may have to put it on competitor mode if we keep doing this, but corner whipped him. Want to keep that clean sheet. Still not gone. And referee blows it. 4-0 win away to Toronto. We're going to smash the league at this point. We're now trying to a deadline day. We'll resume this next episode so get all your suggestions down below we have 91 million to spend now but remember 30 million limit per player two more signings we can make episode two will be out tomorrow guys if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe if you're new turn the bell on want to see a barcelona series my second channel is here this napoli side is amazing we signed one player last episode parisi from empoli for 14 million we have 91 million euros left to spend but guys don't forget we can't spend more than 30 million per player and we can only make three signings in the summer window of course, Kavarati Skilia is one of the reasons we're doing this career mode. And oh boy, did he score some good goals last episode. I'm not going to call him Wi-Fi passcode every time. Still got the ball going past everyone here. Is this the time to score? Oh, what a goal! Here he is again on the ball. Perhaps a long shot on his right foot. Oh, oh, no. Why is that not gone in? I did mention last episode that we could do with an extra center back. We have this dude who's 28 and 80 overall and Kim Min Jae who's 81 at 25. This guy's really good and it's linked to Man United. But we're looking at two center backs. The first being Hinsape from Bayer Leverkusen. He's 20, 78 overall, but would cost between 29.4 and 36.8. 30 million is our limit, but we might not be able to sign him. But Antonio Silva, 18, 77 overall, 88 potential, I'm pretty sure we can get in between 25 and 31. So we need to be quick. So if this guy goes up to 78 overall, we will not be able to get him. Of course, we can make two more signings in this summer window. And we have this player on the bench called Raspadori. He can play center forward, cam and striker. But guys, he's currently on loan from Sassuolo. So if we want to keep him, we need to permanently buy him. And in two appearances, he has two goals, one assist. And they were both really good goals. Well, here's Raspadori on the ball. Still got it. Still got it. What a run. Oh, that's a great goal. Raspadori on the ball. Scored last time he came on. Can he do it now? Pass another. Still Raspadori. Still Raspadori. Nope. Oh, rebound. Oh, this guy's class. I've actually just checked and this guy has 86 potential. I am a Sophie for Merchant. But I thought he would probably have like 81, 82. This would be a very good signing. The question is, oh, he's valued at 34 million. We won't be able to buy him. Let's try and trade someone for him. We don't really have anyone to swap. If we don't try and sign him now, his valuation will just go up. There is actually no one we can spot. Maybe the center midfielder, Lobotka. I mean, he's valued at 32 million. How about we swap him plus, I don't know, 3 million? See what they say to that. They want 42 million. Okay, what about the winger Palatano plus 10 million or 8 15 cent salon clause? What they're going to say to that? They want 14 plus Palatano. Okay, 11 and a half. Guys, I don't think they accept that, but do we really want to do it? Palatano's 81 overall. Left footed, 29. 83 pace. He is our backup winger. Perhaps Almas could be converted to a winger. He has the dribbling stats and his pace isn't awful. But guys, I'm not willing to just let this slide. I want to sign this player. He accepts a rotation, so that is fine, even though he'll probably be starting. Four-year deal. He says yes. No release clause, but when it comes to the wages, 60k a week should do the job. 21k more, and he says yes. And here he is in the shirt. Our second signing of this series. It's Raspadori. 11.5 million plus Politano. 
Banner, what is the game gonna rate this? An A, so that's actually a good deal. Big question is, how do we actually play Raspadora? We've been playing him as a cam, but he can play a striker, a center forward. I mean, we could play him at cam and move Zelinski to center mid. That could work. Almas is now a left winger. He's only at 78 pace though, so we need to improve that. And now we need to make an offer for Antonio Silva, the center back, 25 to 31.2 million. So we need to get this right. So to make sure they don't walk out, we're just gonna straight up offer 30 million plus 2%. Yeah, we'll accept that. I was not gonna offer 29 million. Save a million. I'm not risking that. So, so we're paying 30 million. Five year deal. That is amazing. This guy's not on much. I'll tell you that. At 50k a week, he'll definitely accept this. No bonuses. Is he gonna say yes? He does. So here's our third and last signing of season one. 30 million. Antonio Silva. The game is gonna rate that a D. We could have saved six million. But this guy's 18, 77 rated, and an exciting prospect. Do you know what? With 80 pace, we might as well just start him over this guy because he's going to grow a lot. I didn't realize, but the backup goalkeeper, Galini, is actually on loan from Atalanta. So if we want to keep him and make sure they don't recall him, we need to play him. Our first opponent in today's episode is actually Atalanta at home. Of course, Atalanta, no easy side to beat. We're going to start Raspadori at Cam, Zelinski at center mid. Of course, last episode in our first two games, we played so well, scoring so many goals. Here's an opportunity for Atalanta, number 10 on the ball. Gets it out wide there to Williams. Can we slide in? Not going to risk it. He keeps the ball. Passes nope. it. What a save, Merritt. Here's the right back. Slips that there to Ossiman. Oh, his back post. What's he going to do on the volley, maybe? Karen <laughs> Discalio, however you say his name. What a save. Oh, that's a ball. Slip through there to this guy. Onto his left foot. Hits it. Good save. Rebound. Oh, I don't believe it. Boga with the goal. Of course, it's a rebound. Horrible goal to concede. Keeper makes a save. Do you know what? Number 22 is... He needs to be paying attention a little bit better than that. Oh, no, they're through again. This could be an awful result of Oliveira. Good tackle. I'm at that point where I'm just struggling to say everyone's name who's on the ball. Here's Victor Ossiman. We know who that is. Victor Ossiman. Weird angle. Right foot. Bend it from there. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, here they are again in behind. What are we doing in defense? They make the pass. Long shot. Oh, I don't believe it. How's that got in? What are we doing in this first half? No, we don't have one of them silly replays do it. We do. Just play the replay. We get it. What a horrible goal to concede there. It's Victor Ozzyman. Now slips out there to Cavaradona. It's through. Can he get us back in it? Surely on his right foot. Oh, he's missed it. Are you kidding me? What on earth are we doing in this one? Here he is again. Do we shoot? No, I'm just going to shoot from here. Nope. He hit it. Good save. It's Cavaradona on the board. That's a run by Zelensky. I'm pretty sure. Good touch. The nope. goal. Oh, what a save. Rebound. Smash it. Oh, Ozzyman. Oh, Alvino scored. Oh, no, 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 no. Now we've got Raspadori. Slips that there to Ozzyman. F awful fast touch. I'd say that's the one weakness of his game I've noticed. His fast touches are horrific. Got a couple of subs on that. We need two goals in the next 15 minutes. Want at least a point from this game. Here's Cavada Donner on the ball. Still got it. Makes the pass there. Zelinti, or oh, it's Raspadori. And wide to the left back. Fantastic. Back in the box. Good touch. The nope. shot. Oh, what a save. It's gone out of Lana's way in this game. Two goals, which are very, very avoidable. If we want to do anything, we've got to do it now. Nice pass there. Lobotka, the CDM out wide there. Guevara Donna. Now we've got the left back, Parisi, on the ball. Still Parisi makes a pass. Oh, what a save. Rebound. The rebound's not there. Potential penalty. First VAR off the series, and I don't really know what I'm looking for. Maybe, oh, that's a handball. Yep, that's a handball. We don't even need to take a double look at that. Saying it as I went to take a double look. We're going to hammer this top right hand corner. Come on, Aussie Mud. Nope. Oh, it saved it. Of course he saved it. Penalties in this game are a joke. No one's saving that. It looks like we're not going to score this one. That's the 90 minutes. Get us out this game. That was horrendous. We now have Rangers. First game of the group stage. And we will make a couple of changes at left back. We'll play that center back. We are sim in the first game and we get a 2-1 win. Aussie Mum with a goal on the CDM. Back to Serie A now away from home. 1-0 win. Victor Aussie Mum. Couple of rotations for this one and we 
get a 2 0 win. Aussie Mert and Raspadori. Well, Adelana must be good because they're top of the league after five games. We're on 12, they're on 13. And now we have a real hard run of games. Look at that Inter Milan side. They've signed away Zabel from Real Sociedad. They, of course, have the GOAT, Lautaro Martinez, up front. But for this one, we're going to make no changes. We're putting out our strongest side. Well, this, of course, is one of the most iconic stadiums in sport. It's the San Siro, and it's home of Inter Milan and AC Milan. So no easy game here. Here's Jekyll on the ball. Nice passes, dumb freeze. Mkhitaryan goes for the long shot. Good save. That's a nice interception by the left back. That's a fantastic pass, Ozzyman. Ozzyman out wide there. Please score. What a goal that is. Lozano makes it 1-0 for Napoli. And what a fantastic pass that was. And what a fantastic assist, Ozzyman. The finish was very good as well. I had to run that. That's a gap for Lozano. Cavada on a back post. Try to get the ball to him. Oh, we just couldn't get it. Now here's Ozzyman on the ball. Chip that up for Lozano. Takes it down. Lozano, pass nope. shot. Oh, what a save. That's a pass out wide to Lozano. He's been very busy this game. Onto that right foot. He's probably left-footed as well. Cavada done a back post. Surely the goal. What are we doing? We have to at least be taking that down or just getting it on target. Oh, no. Here come in a Milan. Lattaro Martinez on the ball. Makes a pass. Jacko messes it up. Good defense from us. No, 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 no. What a save. Oh, Lozano tackle from the corner. He's got so much space here. I tell you what, Cavada is always in a good bit of space. This should be the same. Second goal. We're going to sweat it across. Stay on side. Tap it. 2 now. Cavada Tiscalia with the goal. Thanks to you guys in the comments. Let me know how to say his name. Chances are it's still wrong. And you guys are going to comment that it's wrong. It, it, it doesn't sound fluent. But that is a great tap in. True. Oliver error on the ball. We could score more. Slips out there to Ozzyman. One touch. Oh, finesse it. What are we doing? Oh, it's scored. We really did mess that up. I'm interested to see what type of finish it was because it, it seems like the goalkeeper should have saved that on his left foot. Yeah, the keeper should be saving that. It's amazing how he can just lose 2-0 to Atalanta. To be fair, we were lacking quite a bit of luck in that one. And now we're smashing in a Milan 3-0. Keep the clean sheet. Keep the clean sheet. Oya Zabel. Good stuff. I want four. We now have Raspadori on the pitch, by the way. That's a nice ball there to Cavara. Now Raspadori. Oh, it's blocked. Lozano, though. Get that back in the box. Oh, nice header down. Ozzyman. Oh, handball, apparently. The question is, is it actually a penalty? Cavara takes it down. It was a nice little header to Ozzyman. Ozzyman hits it. Oh, okay. What's going on there? He kind of hits it and his hands all around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a handball. Ozzyman to score it. I mean, he missed his last penalty. Raspadori. Oh, yes. We know what he's going to do here. Here's the goal. It's going to penetrate. It's going to penetrate nowhere. I don't think I've mentioned it, but our Champions League group is Liverpool, Rangers, and Ajax. This is no easy group. Of course, we now have six-time winners of Liverpool here. They have a full-strength squad, and we do not. Cavara Tiscaria is actually tired here, so we've got to start Elmas on the left-hand side. I'm not going to start Raspador in this one because he seems to have a great impact when he comes off the bench. And we are away at Anfield, by the way, so that makes it even harder, and we've just passed them the ball. Here's Luis Diaz. Good chance on his left. Oh, it's 1-0. Are you? Are you kidding me? What on earth are we doing? Luis Diaz just give him the ball and he hammers it. Edge of box. That's a fantastic goal. Nice pass there to Ozzy Mern. Long shot on his nope. left foot. Good save. We need to get back in this soon. We get the ball in the box. Antonio Silva. Oh, it's dropped there. We couldn't get the shot off. Nice bit of passing Liverpool. Now, but oh, he's messed that one up. Oh, no, no, no. Salah, 2-0. Oh, I don't believe it. Mohamed Salah with a fantastic finish there. Look at this. Ball just played through to him. Or oh, Luis Diaz to him there. That's a neat finish. 2-0. Oh, it could be three. What a save. Takes that down there. Zielinski. What a goal. We get one back in the 52nd minute. This second half is ours. Or is it? Because we still need another goal and Liverpool have been good, but we took advantage of them there. Hey, what? This left back's been good this game. Got an assist on the last goal. Almas can return that. Oh, Trent actually doing something. Is the left back has been so good this game already. Already got assist. Now, Ossie, but he could get a second. Ozzyman, yes, 
just want to go to all just like this. This second half has been so different. Liverpool switching off again. And this finish is fantastic. Got that right around the keeper. No chance you're stopping that. Hopefully this momentum can keep going. Ossiman making another run over the top. He will get there. He will get there. Verge gets there. This is ours to win now. Cavada to Skilia is on the pitch. And more importantly, Raspatori is on the pitch. 10 minutes here at Anfield. Could end in a draw or either side could win it. Here comes Luis Diaz for Liverpool. Got a tackle in silver. Fantastic. Keeps the ball. That's the new signing. The 18-year-old. What a player he is. Can he get an assist to... Okay, right. That was just too good to be true. Ball over the top. Win the header. Nope. Okay, please don't score. Oh, no. Here's Henderson. Just get a tackle in. Yes. Go on. Keep it at it. Probably our last counter-attack hit. Can we do something? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Kevara done it to win it. What a goal. It was destined in the stars. Kevara to Skelia. Gets the goal. Wins it for Napoli. And filled in shock. Fantastic through ball. It may have been the left back again, but fantastic finish. And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. What a game. A 3-2 win. I, I did just check the left back. Oliveira, whatever his name is, did get a hat-trick of assists. But now we have a tough game versus Jose Mourinho's Roma. A 2-1 loss. Surely we beat these guys. They've got three points. 5-0 win. Wow. This side really is capable of doing anything. Getting a loss, getting a win. This game, we're going to start Zilinski get center mid and we're going to start Raspadori at camp. At this point, we might as well just convert him to a camp. We get a 3-1 loss to Ajax. So with three games left to play in the group, first, second, and third are all on six points. And in Surrey, after eight games, we are second in the league, four points away from top. Next game is AC Milan. If you guys are excited for that, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. What is it? Barcelona in the career mode. My second channel is here. This Napoli side is so fun to play with. Victor Osimhen is playing really good and Cavani to Skilia is absolutely amazing. I mean, he scored this Champions League winner away at Anfield last episode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Kevara done it to win it. What a goal. It was destined in the stars. Kevara to Skelia. Now, we have 51 million euros left to spend. Of course, we have a rule where we can't spend more than 30 million per player. We can only make three signings in the summer window. Last episode, we made Raspadori a permanent signing and we brought in Antonio Silva from Benfica. We actually have this Italian five-star, five-star scout. We need to send him out somewhere. I don't know if we'll have a 30 million limit for all the seasons we're here. Because if so, that's going to make it very difficult to sign some really good players. So we're going to send a youth scout to Argentina for nine months to find a technically gifted player. Yes, that's right. We're in search for the next Diego Maradona. We could actually do with a right winger. Lozano's 81 overall is 27. Doesn't have too much potential. As we can only spend 30 million, we need to bring through a youth player who has insane potential. Now, first game is against Milan. We're at home. Take a look at that side. They have some very, very good players. They have good attackers. Leao on the left. In fact, I'm going to say they actually have a better side than us. We do have a few tired players, so we will rotate. Raspadori is now a cam, by the way, so he's going to be playing there. Oh, Cavalli to Skilly is tied. We're going to have to play Almas. Here's Almas on the left-hand side and number seven. That's a run there by Raspadori. Nice touch. Fine, Ozzy Man. Nope. Oh, keep it against that. Rebound. 1-0. Lobotka with the goal. We get a goal in the 12 minutes. Fantastic bit of play there by Raspadori. Dangerous ball. Keeper did well, but luckily, it landed to Lobotka. They've actually signed Gundogan in midfield. That's a very good signing. Here's Dest. Of course, he's online from Barca. We've got an injury at the back. What do you mean? Of course, if you guys haven't already, leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new. 75% of you guys are not subscribed. Here's Raspadori on the ball. Still Raspadori. Just nope. going to hit it from that angle. I could have maybe sweated to Ozzyman. Across the box, <laughs> Ozzyman. Another block. Raspadori has been busy this game. Can Ozzyman get in a good spot? Oh, edge of box. Nope. Good save. Oh, that's a ball in behind. Start a second half. Marada. Oh, if it's anyone to be thrown goal, you'd want it to be Marada. Don't open your mouth. Corner now, Milan. Looks like they're going to take this short. Can they work this one in the box? Ben Yedda. Oh, no. Would do well if he doesn't score. We've got a potential penalty here. Or is it a free kick? Oh, no. It's Ben Yedda from the free kick. That's why I shouldn't have spoke. What's going to happen here? Can the wall block it? Yes, they do. Is Ben Yedda. What a save, Merritt. Raspadora has just gone straight around him. What a player. What a player we have. I'm not going to set in that CDM because he cannot finish. Raspadori to go the full left. Still Raspadori. 
Johnny Tudel. I am so glad we apparently signed this guy. What a player he is. He's fantastic to come off the bench, and it's really good when we start him as well. We've got subs on the pitch now. We want to see this win out. We do have some tired players. Here comes Lozano. I'm pretty sure that's end on ballet back post. Lozano's going to go the full length, though. No one's going to stop him. What a finish. It's 3-0 Napoli. This side is capable of winning 3-4-0. And then just every other game, losing. After nine games, we're second in Serie A. One point away from top of the league at Atlanta. Oh, no. You're kidding me. That center back who was injured. It's out for three months. Guys, I don't think you realize how bad this injury actually is. We have silver as the backup center back. And that's it. Literally no one else can play there. Our left back can actually play center back. That is big. Oliver Herrera has 76 defending. We, we can use him. But this is going to be tired. I tell you that. We need to be careful with rotation. We now have Monza away Ooh. from home. It's a thrill draw. Are you kidding me? What are we doing? But now we have a massive game versus Juventus. They're two points behind us. And again, we do have a few tired players. Lozano's tired. Almas will have to start. Silver's slightly tight. We're going to try this left back at left center back and play Parisi at left back. Ozyman, fantastic bit of play there. We can get this out wide to Almas. Back to Ozyman. Ozyman, edge off his boot. What a save. Zelensky now to Ozyman. That's a run there for Guevara to Scalia. Oh, he's just sat him down. Still got the ball. Still got the ball. What a bit of play. Still got it. Oh, I just did too much there. That was a nice little run. Oh, that's a mistake. Interception. Lobotka going to slip in. Ozzyman. Good touch. The finish. Oh, he's missed it. 55 minutes in. Still nil-nil. Literally nothing happening. This is where we flip the switch now and start to play some good football. Nice bit of play. Now, Ozzyman is not missing this one. Composure. Oh, he's missed it. Are you kidding me? How's he missed? that? Absolute sitter. They're, they're making mistake after mistake here. Here's Cavada to Skilia. Still got the ball. Still got it. It's going to go the way. Nope. Has he got the finish? What a save. We've possibly got one last counter attack to try win this game. Cavada, nice tackle there. Through the middle. We're going to win this. This is how good this side is. Almas! That's the three points. We've won it laid on. Such an awful game. But this team just has it. This is why we're going to win Serie A. Fantastic play laid on. Almas, the sub. Well, the player doesn't normally start, gets the winner. Guys, maybe we could get an Argentinian thing going in this side. Diego Armada, 21, at Atlanta United. Perhaps we could sign him under 30 million. We've done it before. We've searched for the next Ronaldo, the next Messi. We don't really help these youth players actually grow into anything. I am determined to make our right winger a youth academy player. Right now, we have Ajax away in the Champions League. It's a 2-1 win. Raspadori and Ozzyman. Ozzyman has 10 goals and 15, 3 assists. 5 and 1 for Raspadori. 4 and 2 for Cavada to Skilia. I was actually expecting a little bit more for him. We'll get a 3-1 win versus Bologna and Cavada to Skilia scores in that one as well. Scout report back on Almada and he would cost between 28 and 35 million. 30 million really is difficult, isn't it? Because we can't really sign anyone above 77 overall. Back to Serie A. A 3-1 win. Ozzyman and Cavada Baradona. Our first scout reports back, and we have this Luis Fernandez. 15, 69 to 94 potential. We're going to sign this guy up. He's 5'7", left-footed, and a winger. Wow. I mean, have we found the next Messi? Let's convert him to a right winger. All oh, Rangers don't even have a single point yet in this group. A 2-0 win. Cavada, Dono, and Arziman. And we get a 1-0 draw in Serie A. I don't even know who this lot are. Cavada with the goal. Now after 14 games, we're second in the league to Roma. Jose Mourinho's Roma. That's what happens when you drop points. But now we have Empoli and we lose 2-1. Are you kidding me? That's just not the form we want going into this game versus Liverpool. Both for 12 points, final game in the group. Both sides have already qualified, just fighting for that top spot. We're actually going to make no changes here. That's a fantastic pass there by Liverpool. Here comes the CDM. Can he keep the ball? He has. Out wide to Cavada. Trent's defending. Oh, of course, we're straight past him. Can't get the shot off. Penalty. Oh, Trent, that's not a good tackle. I don't think we've had a non-handball penalty in probably like two series. We didn't have handballs turned on. We'd never get them. That is definitely a pen. We've missed our last two. 
Ozzyman to step up here. I'm actually just going to put Cavada on this one. We're going to smash this top left-hand corner as he skied it. No, it hasn't. What a pen. Cavada to Skillia. Cavada Donna, some say. Try stop that. Try save that one. You just don't. 1-0 Napoli. Look at this man on the sideline. And Liverpool get themselves back in it now. Nice bit of passing. Thiago. Fabinho. That's on the ball. Diaz. Long shot there for Pino. That was fantastic. Oh, no. Here's Mo Salah on the ball. Oh, nice bit of nope. passing. What a save, keeper. Oh, no, no, no. We've got a penalty. I saw that was a handball. What on earth is the game doing here? He headers it down. He just comes and touches his hand. Are you kidding me? Salah recently missed a penalty versus Bournemouth. We're going to go the same way. Oh, he goes to the right. It's one all. Salah. Oh, this could be 2-1. Oh, what a safe no rebound oh get in just like the first it's gonna be a very hard game to get a win in oh we just pass it straight to them no 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 what a goal Salah get out nice assist Diaz he put it on a plate there to volley it wow on a plate for a player like Mo Salah anyone else finds that difficult this could be three if we're not careful that finds Shotter. get it away oh no it's another pen this is an absolute joke where it's there apparently it's there it hits his shoulder like that you're not giving that a pen I'm not giving that a draw in this game by the way will what an earth is Kim Min Jae doing there oh this game has been awful Whee! so far Diaz yeah everyone's slow on the ball lethargic fantastic video game I tell you that look at this look at this look terrible loves us as well if we get a point in this game we actually do get top of the group we need something to happen oh Lozano he can actually score from here just keep going in a straight line Lozano nope. what a save now Lobotka Lobotka now to Cavada it's offside. Look at him. Stood there with his flag out. Oh, that's a run there for Ossiman. What a fantastic ball. Come on, keeper. Come out. You're not going to save this. He did. 15 minutes to find two goals. And that will get us top of the group. Pass shot here. Oh, what a goal. Yeah. Take that, Liverpool. Lobotka. Fantastic stuff there. Now we've got a, a four and a half hour replay. That's it. He hit it. Beautiful stuff. Nearly a handball. Back of the net. You guys know what time it is. It's sub time. Raspadori's on the pitch. That means we're going to get a draw. Good tackle there, Silva. Nice pass there. Get it out. Good stuff. I mean, that was terrible. Look at them. Look at them. Being all slow on the ball. Look. What a joke. What a joke. They're doing nothing. They're being so slow and gentle on the ball because they're playing down the clock. Two minutes extra time in this game is about two seconds and that's it. Referee's going to blow his whistle. Oh no, what a save. It could have been another goal there. Yeah, that's it. 3-2. Hopefully the Liverpool fans haven't done a Frankfurt. Another draw in Serie A. Three games in a row now. We haven't got a win. It's not the Premier League though, so we haven't been gobbled up by big teams. Still three points away from top. Just don't don't be dropping points in this one. It, 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 it's a 2-1 loss. We're now outside the top four. A 5-1 win. There we go. That's what you love to see. Endo Bele has been recalled by Spurs. Are you kidding me? Galini's been recalled. We now have this center back coming back from an injury. Guys, looks like we need a center midfielder to sign. We're now at Fiorentina. And I do class this as one of the biggest sides in this division. I mean, they have a good center back. So we're actually going to play this. But we're going to actually start Rasper Dory at Cam. Make a pass to Lozano. He hits on side. Has he got the finish? Yes, he has one now. Number 11, Lozano gets the opener. It would be amazing to get a second goal here. Edge of corner, Lozano. Can he do it again? Couple of players to go through. Still Lozano. Oh, he's hit it low. What a save. Still got it though. Cavada Donna. Now we've got Raspadori. Oh, he's hit the bar. We need this second goal. Oh, that's a run, Ossiman. Out wide to Cavada. Cavada to Ossiman. Ossiman smash it in. 2-0. That should be the three points. We really do need to be careful. We've been dropping a lot of points recently. Alinsky gets that up wide to this guy now. Raspadori is Ozzyman looking Cavada. Donna! 3-0. He gets his goal. Fantastic. That's what? Goal and assist in this game. That's the 90 minutes. 3-0 win. Three points in the bag. Wow. We have a massive transfer offer for Ozzyman. 141 million by Munich. See, the problem with letting him go is we have all this money and we can't spend more than 30 million per player. We're going to reject that. I mean, if we get rid of them, we'll be in the summer window. Now we have Verona at home. 
this time. It's a 3-2 win. Just about winning. Lozano, Ozzyman, and the right back. Oh, Newcastle coming in with that oily money. 28 million for Lozano. Absolutely not. I mean, if Lozano's worth 28 million at 81, 28, 27 years old, perhaps we could buy a player like that. You guys haven't noticed, we are in the January window now. We have 50 million to spend. Get your suggestions down below. We'll continue this next episode. If you like, if you haven't already subscribed, turn the bell on. Want to see Barcelona career mode? My second channel is here. The January transfer window is now open. We have 50 million euros to spend. But guys, don't forget, we can only spend 30 million per player. And we can only sign two players in January. The start of year 11 is looking extremely strong. We don't need to make too many improvements. But when we take a look at the depth of the side, we're really lacking players. And last episode, Spurs record ends on Bele. And I've just realized his contract must be expiring because we could sign him between 20 and 26 million. And it's 80 overall. We might actually sign this guy back. I was going to suggest we go in for someone like Fratesi. We have used him before. Italian centre midfielder, but he's just signed for Newcastle. Another good option is Sunset from Athletic Club. Starts at 78, has 86 potential. Right now is 22. Would be a fantastic signing. But my favourite option is Rivera from Juventus, but he's valued at 35 million already. And he's out on loan, so it'd be very, very hard to sign him. After 20 games, we're currently second in Serie A. Currently six points behind Jose Mourinho is Roma. But we had a fantastic game versus Juventus last episode. We got a winner in the last kick of the game. Nice tackle there through the middle. We're going to win this. This is how good this side is. Almas! That's the three points. We've won it late on. Such an awful game. Barcelona come in for Zambo as CDM. 27, 84 overall, 46.9 million. We're going to reject that. We don't want to be letting him go. But we have Sampdoria here at home and it's a 1-0 win. It's Cavada to Skelly with the goal. Of course, we did qualify our group stage last episode. Coming second in the group, three points behind Liverpool. The round of 16 has been drawn, and we're facing Spanish side Sevilla. So I'd say we've done pretty well with that draw there. Now, our backup CDM is currently Demi. 77 overall at 31. As we can make two signings this window, what I'm going to do is put him on the transfer list, try sell him, and we're going to go in for a CDM like this Riki from Torino. Italian, 21 years old, got 86 potential. This would be a very good signing. But you know what would be an even better signing? Fagioli from Juventus. He's currently out on loan. This guy's 87 potential. Starts off at like 75. This guy would be perfect to sign. But guys, we need to sign Endon Bele quick because he's now 81 overall. So his valuation is only going up. They want between 24 and 30 million. So if we go in with like 27 and a half, see what they say to that. They want 28.2. We'll just say yes. He only has 82 potential, but he'll probably just stay on the bench during this whole save. I mean, he wants important first team player. Contract length. Can we tie him down to a five-year deal? He says yes. And if he's going to be a bench player, can we give him a hefty release clause? 54 million. To be fair, we might as well not be selling players for a lot of money. Because if we can only spend, what, 30 million? Maybe next season around 40 million? We can't really sign anyone that good. 120k a week? He says yes. So here's our first signing in the January transfer window. It's Endon Bele from Spurs for 28.2 million. The game is going to rate this probably a B or a C. Yeah, they rated a C. Now, Nicolo Fagioli has, for some reason, gone back to Juventus. You could say it was the power of the live editor. I'm just going to say Juventus wanted him back. We've only got 19 million. Are you kidding me? Okay, what if we offer 15 going like that? I mean, they say yes. 6%. That's it. We will accept that. This is a very, very good signing, by the way. Oh, yeah, Dale. Absolutely. No release clause. 40k a week. He says yes. And that's our second signing here in the January window. It's a new CDM. A CDM for the future. Thank you only for 15 million. The game is gonna rate this one. And hey, so that's a very good deal. And it's an exciting prospect. 21 Italian. 76 rated. You know, I think it's important that we sign these Italian players. If you guys haven't already, by the way, leave the video a like. Subscribe for you new. If you turn the bell on, you won't miss future uploads. Simi only, I'm pretty sure, is actually on loan. He is. And this season is played to appearances. How have they not recalled it? We now have Adlana and Serie A. To be fair, we're going to make a change in the midfield. Labotke is 28-82. We're going to start playing Endon Bele. 26, 
weeks, this guy could start growing and he's got some decent stats. Here's Kavara to Skillia. Oh, that's a ball there. Slip through to Zelinski as he got the finish on his left thumb. What a goal, top corner. Instantly hitting them for one. It's Zelinski, 1 0 Napoli. I mean, it's been a day since I played with this squad and I, I keep forgetting how good it is and how fun it is. Look at that for a finish. Here comes Zelinski. We could hit them for a second here. Oh, here's Ozzyman. First time. Oh, he's bottled it. Should have taken a touch. He's on Dembele. Slips that there to Ozzyman. It's a big opportunity. We're going to go for a power nope. shot. Oh, what a save. They've actually got the keeper in goal, who did play for us, but they recalled him. It's Cavada to Skillia. Oh, that's terrible. Now Victor Ozzyman. Oh, that's a pass there to Cavada to Skillia. Oliveira, Ooh. what a save. And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. Literally one goal in that game. Could have been two, but Ozzyman bottled it. We have a cup game here. We have slightly rotated. It's a 3-2 win. Raspatori, Simeon, and Raspatori. So good. Now, Demi has been sold to Sassuolo for seven and a half million. I don't think the game's going to rate this too good. And A, his contract must have been expiring. He lives 2-1 to Monza. Are you kidding me? They have Inacho playing. Cavani to Skilly with the only goal for us. Are you kidding me? That back of right back we had was on loan as well. Why does Napoli have so many players on loan? We're only third in the league after 23 games. Two points behind AC Milan. And Milan is a very nice game away from home at the San Siro. And if we don't get three points here, then we are in trouble. We slip that there to Ozzyman. Ozzyman to Cavada Donna. Back to Ozzyman. Oh, we've bottled it. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? What a run that was. Side netting. That's a ball over the top there to Victor Ozzyman. We've got Lobotka in the bus. Cavada to Skeller on the volley. Nearly an own goal. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? We've got Ben Yedda through and goal here. What a tackle. Is Cavada to Skillia. On the board. Long shot there on his right foot. Oh, he's at the post. That pass shot is coming. I'm telling you that. Cavada. What a ball there to Zelinski. Zelinski on the ball. Power shot on that nope. right foot. What a save. Edge of box it. Good touch. Lozano takes a block. Penalty apparently. Ball comes to him. He hits it. That was going on target. I tell you that. That was flying top corner. It hits his arm. As he hit it, his arm, it was going quick. His arm goes behind his back. I, I, he tried to get his arm out of the way. That's not a pen. It's Cavara. Ozzyman's making that run. We'll play it over the top to Ozzyman. Oh, what a fantastic opportunity here. Power shot. Goal. One now. Victor Ozzyman gets the goal. 62 minutes in. Fantastic assist. Cavana to Scalia. And that is a finish. Now here's Zelinski. Through ball there to Ozzyman. It's 2-0 like that. What a goal. In four minutes, we get two goals. That sure has. Shut out Milan now for the rest of this game. Zelensky with the assist. Great, well-weighted ball. And that's a finish. Well, that's a nice pass there, Ozzyman. I've got Zelensky turned to his man. Good stuff. Lozano's making the run, but Zelensky's done so well here. He's going to make the goal. 3-0. Bye-bye, Milan. We're going ahead of you in Serie A now. Zelensky makes it three. Fantastic goal. Oh, that is. We now have the quarterfinal off the cup. We get a 2-1 win versus Roma. Cavallo to Scalia and the center back. Back to Serie A. 3-1 win versus this side. Cavallo to Scalia. Kim Min Jae and Cavallo again. We can have some good form in the league. We have Lazio now, but the game after is the first leg versus Sevilla. So we're not going to take this. I was going to say too seriously. We want to take it seriously, but we will rotate slightly away from home. If we do win, we go top of the league. We lose 2-0. You bottle jobs. Are you kidding? me. I don't think they did take that seriously. Both played 26. We're two points behind them. We could have gone a point clear from them there. And we relocated to North London. We have the first leg here. Of course, we sim the first leg. They have a good side. They're a good team. It's a one-all draw. Victor Ossiman with the goal. We have some big games coming up, so we can't rotate in this one, but it's Bologna. Ooh, Ossiman's slightly tired. We can play Raspatori, and he gets a boost of two. We're going to do it. Surely you get three points in this one. Three will win. And Cavada to Skilly and Zelensky. We have Inter Milan in the semi-final of the cup. Again, take a look at that side. They have some very good players. But we are tied. This is a two-leg semi-final. We're going to have to play this one carefully. I'll tell you that. Do we rotate the CDM? No. We get a two-all draw in the first leg. So we don't get smashed. We can work with something. Raspadori and Ozzyman. We're now facing Juventus here away from home. They're four points away from fourth. They're currently fifth. So this is one massive game for them. Nice 
nice pass there. Power shot. What a save. Here we're going to get this ball. And we're going to put it edge of box like that. A little flick. Back to the center back. Center back takes a touch. Center nope. back shoots. What a save. I want this ball out here. That's it. Good touch. Lozano. What a save again. Here comes Lozano. Still in need off that goal. Lozano doesn't want to let it go. Gonna spin around. Pass the ball. What is that? We've got 10 minutes to win this game. We've now got Raspadori on the pitch. So if you guys know, you know. There he is. He's just absolutely goaded. Slips that there to Almas. Back to Raspadori. Raspadori takes a block. Probably our last counter attack here. I'm actually shocked about this game. We're gonna drop further behind top of the league Roma if we're not careful here. Oh, that's a ball over the top there to win it. Nope. Oh, what a save. Get out. Penalty. Potential penalty, please. Ooh. Oh, the VAR here. The VAR here. It may be a little biased. The shot saved. Oh, it goes straight into his hand. Look at that. Goes straight up to his hand. That's a pen. Just don't bottle it. Don't bottle it. Look, everyone's going mad in the crowd. They're nervous. You're making them nervous. We're going to go to the right. We've smashed it to the right. Ozzy Man has won it later on for Napoli. Everyone goes mad. Juventus done in the home ground. The last kick off the game. Two minutes added on. Of course, it's FIFA. You get nothing more than two minutes. And in the third minute, Ozzy Man pulls this out. Top right hand corner. After 28 games with 10 games left to play, we're now second. Level of points with first Jose Mourinho's Roma. With results like that, you you know we're serious in this title race. But now we have Torino. Just don't go drop points. We do. We do. I don't believe it. Respiratory with the goal and Vlasic. But now we have that important second leg. We couldn't rotate too much in the last game. If we take a look at their squad, they have an okay defense, decent midfield, and a somewhat good attack. I mean, we should be winning this comfortably. When it comes to making rotations, there's actually no one we can play. They're all tired. So we're going out like this. Oh, no, no, no. That would have been a a bad start. We get the defense in with Silva. Corner early on Severe. We're away from home here as well. This would be just horrific if we were to go out in the round of 16. Cavada to Skilly on the ball. Couple of step overs. Ah, oh, a good defense Montiel. Wild Cup winner of course. Going past a couple of players there. Slips that in behind. Forzil. Let's go! 1-0. It's onside. 2-1 in aggregate. Napoli in the lead. It's Lozano. Chip that up there for Ozzyman. Ozzyman chips it up. Let's go! 2-0. 3-1 on that cricket. Another Zielinski goal. 19 minutes in. That is a fantastic bit of play. Fantastic awareness. Fantastic assist by Ozzyman. And a fantastic finish. It's Cavana on the ball. Oh, this could be 3-0 before half time. Zielinski is going to pull out there to the CDM. Across the box. 3-0. It's Lozano. 4-1 on that cricket. We are obliterating them here. Fantastic bit of play. Nice pass to Zambo. Zambo to Lozano. And that is 3-0. Ooh, we have a good free kick opportunity here. Please, I'd love to score a free kick. Would absolutely love to score a free kick here. Come on, get it up and over the wall. What is that? Just go away. Free kicks used to be so good in this game. I'm going to go as far as it. FIFA 17 free kicks were so much better than these. Oh, that, that was a bit lucky there. Here comes Ozzyman. Ozzyman onto that right foot. Ozzyman smash it near. Pops, what a goal. Victor Ozzyman, fantastic stuff there. Thanks the ball down, takes people on, gets onto that right foot, and boom, near post is Lozano. We want five. Oh, it's Ozzyma. What a goal on the volley. What an F is the keeper doing there? It's a 5 0 win right now. Wow, five. Well, I mean, what is the keeper doing? What is the keeper doing? What is that? This will be another Almas now to Ozzyman. Through on goal. Fantastic. Ozzyman, has he already got a hat trick? I don't know, but this will be it now. Ozzyman with another goal. Don't very often get games like this on ultimate difficulty, but Sevilla are absolutely horrendous here. Can we get another? That's a good tackle. I really, really would love another goal to get 7 now for obvious reasons. Yes, 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 yes! Get in! Come on! 7 0! Nope. Oh, missed it! I don't believe it! What am I doing? Come on, please! Score a header here! Score a header! Corner! Oh, you're joking! Uh, it was all gonna be great! It was all gonna be great! I had this! I have a United shirt on! It's 6 0, you're kidding me! Yeah, Kremenosi away now! Do not drop points! What are you doing? 
Oh, Mass, we have to go. What? Why are we so horrible when simming games in this farmer's league? I'm only joking. Oh, we're top of the league. We're top of the league. They have a game in hand. I'm only joking. It's not a farmer's league. It's pretty close. It's getting better. It's the second best league in the world right now. And you guys can't get too annoyed at me saying that. Well, why do teams in Europe want the Super League so much? The Champions League quarterfinal has been drawn. The side we're playing is Atletico Madrid. Diego Simeone's anti-football will be coming to Napoli. That'll be next episode. So, of course, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on. I did upload episode one of season two of Barcelona on my second channel last episode. Click here to see it. We have eight games left to play in Serie A. We're currently five points away from Jose Mourinho's Roma, but we have a game in hand, so we could make that two. And we have Atletico Madrid in the Champions League quarterfinal. And this squad is capable of winning the league and possibly going far in the Champions League. If you guys are excited for this finale episode of season one, drop the video a like, subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on. This is going to be a good one. Can we win the league? Can we win the Champions League? We get a 2-1 win versus this side away. Cavada to Skelia with the goal. And Kim Min Jae, we're now two points away from top of the league. But the first leg now versus Atletico Madrid. They're playing a 4-4-2. They've got some good players. Griezmann, Depay, Carrasco. Good defense. Oh, look, they've got Edgar Reyes at center back. But here comes the first leg away from home. Just don't get smashed. A 2 all draw. Ozyman and Lozano, that's not bad. We just need to get the job done in the second leg. Osiman, of course, is smashing it this season. 25 goals, 6 assists in 40. And Cavara Di Scilia, 21 goals, 7 assists. What a player at 22. Now, we have Empoli here. They're not actually doing that bad this season. We're going to have to rotate in this one, though. We're going to play Raspadori up top. Get Andon Baller in there. Rotating because we had Letico Madrid second leg coming up. A 2-1 win. We get the three points in the bag. Raspadori, what a player. With six games left to play, we're two points behind. Jose Mourinho's Roma. This is going to go down to the wire. But here it is. The second leg versus Diogo Simeone's Atletico Madrid. To be fair, guys, we actually have his son on the bench. He may make an appearance. Imagine if he were the one to get a late winner. Send us to the semi-final. That's a nice tackle by the right back. Oh, they've just passed Cavada. The ball there. We've got Almas on the right-hand side. Cavada still. He could go all the way here. Cavada to Skilia on his left foot. Oh, it's missed it. What on earth is that? What a massive opportunity. Cavada normally would be scoring that. Oh, we've possibly got a free kick in a very good position here. We do not put strikers on free kicks. You guys know that. We're going to get Raspadori on this one. Get a decent amount of power. Get it over the wall. Raspadori, here he is. Oh, just past the post. Slips out there to the left back. Now to Ossiman. Ossiman, I should have passed nope. it. What a save. I should have sweated across. But I tell you what, we've been better than Atletico on this. This first half is the center back. Now Lobotka on the ball. Makes a nice pass. Raspadori to the CDM. Now Ossiman. Nice touch. The finish. That's the goal before the break. 1-0 Napoli. It's Victor Ossiman with the goal. That sure is the finish. Check that out. The CDM with the pass on his left. The top corner. I tell you what. If we reach the semi-final. What a ball, by the way, to Parisi. That's a nice pass there to Cavada. Over the top, maybe. Ah, oh, nice bit of defending. But to get to the semis with this side in Season 1 is a very good achievement. I mean, if we get a good draw on the semis, we could even reach the final. Oh, here's Tamar Lamar. The <laughs> shot! Oh, it's hit the ball. What a save. So close there by Atletico. We've got a few subs coming on now. Can we see this game out? Now here comes Lozano. A second goal would finish it in this one. He's got fresh legs. He's got all that pace. Lozano to finish it to get us to the nope. semi-final. What a save. Couple of minutes left of this one now we could get another goal Cavara to Scalia semi-final here we come Napoli have won it Atletico Madrid outplayed and it's that man Cavara to Scalia once again and what a goal that was oh you guys will not believe this guess who we have in the semi-final it's FC Porto what a chance we have to get to the final I mean all respect to Porto but we should be in the final they're currently top of the La Liga NOS five points clear from Benfica so they are having a good Good season, but we're currently in an intense title race. Another 2 1 win. Lozano with a brace. And now we have the second leg versus Inner Milan to get to the final of the cup. The treble is possible in this season. We're going to make a few changes. Still a strong squad, though. Raspadori at Cam. So you guys know we're going to win this. Here comes Ossiman. Could slip that there to Cavada. Good touch on his left foot. Oh, he's missed it again. That is two fantastic opportunities for Cavada in this episode. He's done the same thing twice. Here he is. That's that's Almas. Good opportunity. What a save. The CDM. He's actually 
actually really good going forward is Aussie Man. Oh, what a save. Really should have shot earlier there. He got too close to the keeper. Here's Fagoli. Now the CDM. Aussie Man turns his man. Can't really get past him. Pass out wide there to Zelinski. Pulls that back. The CDM. Aussie man hits it. Oh, over the bar. It's actually full time. It just ended. I thought that was going to go to pens. We win on away goals. Are you kidding me? It was two all and we win on away goals. So we're in a final facing Juventus. Oh, you guys can't write this. We're now top of the league. Cleared by Roma by one point with five games left to play. And now we have Jose Mourinho's Roma. Guys, take a look at that squad. They have Dybala, Abraham, Belotti. Good defense, good midfield. This is going to be a tough one. This might as well be called the Serie A title final because whoever wins this game probably will win the league. Here comes Cavara to Scalia on the left hand side. Nice run. Can we get it onto that right foot? Onto that left. Nice bit of dribbling. Still Cavara. Still Cavara. Nope. Oh, what a save. Is Lozano somehow is onside. Gets that in the box. We win the header. What a save. Mourinho's men, of course, the masters of defending. It's not going to be easy to break them down, but we've got some real good pressure on them here. We'll get this one in the box again. Cavada. Oh, over the bar. I tell you what, I actually really wouldn't mind doing a crow mode with Roma next. Oh, no. Oh, that's a pen. That's a pen. Are you kidding me? VAR is going to take a look at this, but I don't think this is getting overturned. Tammy Abraham, the six foot five man with a little bit of skill. Oh, look at that. There's no way that gets overturned. It's Paolo Dybala to step up for Roma. Jose Mourinho's man could go in the lead here. We're going to go to the right. Oh, what a save, keeper. Oh, no. Here's Belotti on the ball. Oh, he's falling over. What a chance, Abraham. Good defense. Not gone, though. Dybala. Now to Abraham. Abraham, nope. what a save. The rebound. Oh, you're joking. It's a goal, Roma. We defended so well there. Good save, but the rebound. Dybala on the ball. Couple of step overs. Good bit of work. Can we Hit it from this angle. Good save. Oh, no. This could be 2-0. Here's Roma into the box. Abraham, nice bit of passing. Bellotti, good block. I tell you what, a point, a draw would be a good result. We'd still be a point clear top. But if we lose, we're two points behind them. Abraham, back hill. Dybala, Bellotti back into the box. Abraham makes it 2-0. I don't believe it. That could be it for Roma. Look at that for a volley. Look at that for a finish. They've been so much better than us here. Lozano. Oh! What a goal! What a shot! Are you kidding me? What a fantastic goal! Out of nowhere with the power shot. That was as top corner as you get. Take a look at that! We're back into it. We have Zielinski coming off for Raspadori. You guys know we're going to get something from this one. Oh, no, no, no. What a save. Roma just keep getting corners. We cannot get the ball out of our half right now. We want to get a counter-attack going. But Roma, attack, best form of defense. What a save. We've got limited time here. Can we get this ball out the back? Now we can go. Here's Cavara. His dribbling can really be questionable sometimes. i tell you that. A final counter-attack. And that's it. Referee blows. They do say attack best form of defense. Roma get the win. That could be the Serie A. We're now Porto. First leg of the Champions League in the semi-final. I mean, take a look at that squad. How many Pepe's do they want in their side? Here comes the first leg. And we win 2-1. That is fantastic. Lozano and Zielinski. With four games left to play in a Milan are now in this title race. We're both in 71, two points away from Roma. You guys know it. Of course, we're playing in a Milan now, and they have a very good squad. I mean, Oyezabal, Martinez, Lukaku. Good defense, good midfield. Not going to be easy. Oh, that would have been unlucky early on. Here's a good chance for Cavada on the left-hand side. He's bottled this every time this episode already. Oh, he does the bottle this one. Finally gets that goal. Cavada to Skillia makes it one. But now here comes Lukaku for Inna. He's got the pace. He's got the strength. He's got the finish. Martinez, nice bit of play. Lukaku, that could have been a handball. Oh, fantastic opportunity nope. there. Martinez, what a save. And that's the 90 minutes. We get the 1-0 win just about. Three points in the bag. The Tana race is still alive. The Roma drop points. We have three games left and we're one point clear. This title race is insane. But right now, of course, we have one foot in a Champions League final. Cavada's lacking a little bit of thinness. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to play Zelensky at centre mid. And we're going to get Raspadori at number 10. Early on, Cavada to Skillet. Nice pass there. Aussie man. Now Raspadori onto that right foot. Gets it out wide to Lozano. Lozano passes it across. Oh, shit. Should have been a goal. Don't tell me they still have Pepe as a centre-back. He must be like 42 at this point. Oh, what a save. He got that onto his right foot.
effort so quick there. Here comes Cavada. Now gets that out wide to Ossiman. Here comes Ossiman. Could be a third. Victor Ossiman. Oh, straight down the middle. It's Lozano through the gap there to Ossiman. Is he onside? Gets the shot off. What a save he was on. A third goal I really feel would absolutely finish this. Edge of box there. Raspadori, power shot, blocked. Cavada, back across the box. What a bit of defense. Oh, we have a free kick. I don't know how we got this, but what a chance this is. Good opportunity here. Oh, he's got too much power on that. We get it over the wall. No, go straight into it. You guys need to actually let me know how to take free kicks. Lozano hits it. What a save. Is the right back out wide. Lozano, great opportunity in the box. Oh, what a block. We have an injury here. It's Pepe, the winger, not the center back. If you can't tell by the hair, is Cavada. That's a ball there to Ozzyman. Surely the goal has to be the goal. Ozzyman to finish it. 3 1. Champions League final. Here we come. Surely Porto have done nothing. What a fantastic goal. Fantastic touch. The turn and the finish. That's the third. Oh, that's a goal back for Porto. We've got 17 minutes to play and they're one goal behind. I don't know what we're doing defensively, but Check this out. He's found the top corner. We just need to see this game out now. An extra goal would be fantastic. Just switched off defensively. Here's the right back across the box. What was that? And that's it. That's full time. Win a Champions League final after beating Porto 3 2 on aggregate. And the side we're facing in the Champions League final is Paris Saint Germain. One side who has won it before and another who hasn't. I'm pretty sure Napoli have. Back to Serie A. We can't be doing any bottling here. It's it's a 3-1 win. Cavalla and Ozzyman. But now we have an opportunity to win a trophy versus Juventus in the Coppa Italia final. We have a few tired players. We're going to start Almas. But you know what? We're actually going to start Raspadori at number 10. Well, here's an early opportunity for Almas. What a chance. We could sweat this across. We are going to sweat it across. He should be finishing that. He does. Lozano makes it 1-0 Napoli under 8 minutes. Oh no. Vlahovic has slipped in there. He could make it 1-0. Slop the keeper. I don't believe it. What an equalizer there, Vlahovic. He's picked the ball up as well. It's like making it level is not enough. We want the winner. Still Raspadori going through them all onto that right foot. Raspadori, can he go all the way on his right? What a block. We're going to take this corner and go edge your box here. 66 minutes in. Here's Lozano. Already got the first. Still Lozano. Oh, good defense. It's an aggro. Moise Keane, what a save. We're 116 minutes in here. This will go to pens. Unless they score it here from the corner. Oh. Win that, oh, I don't believe it. No, they've won it with the last kick in extra time. Juventus win a trophy. We've bottled it in the cup. And that's it. That's full time. They win it 2-1. Devastating there. Do you know what? We could end up bottling this whole season and winning nothing. Paredes to lift it. Congratulations to Juventus. Champions of the Coppa Italia. We now have Fiorentina at home. It's a 2-1 win. Raspadori and Cavada. One game left to play. It comes down to the final game of the season. We're a point clear from Roma. And we're playing Udinese away. We've already bottled Coppa Italia. Chances are we don't win the Champions League. Just please don't bottle this. Oh, Ossiman is in the box. We cross it in. Oh, Ossiman, what a goal. 1-0 Napoli. What a fantastic cross. Fantastic finish. Now Victor Ossiman on the ball. Oh, Cavada out wide. Is he onside? Good touch. Good finish. 2-0. Come on. Oh, please end the game now. That will be Serie A. Keep counting though because we're going to get a third. Cavada, Lozano, nice touch. The nope. third. Ozzyman. 3 0. Serie A definitely in the back now. And that is full time. Let's get it lifted. What a season it has been. What a way to end it. 3 0 versus Udinese. It's the center back to lift it. I don't know what's going on with that ribbon. It's a little bit stiff. But there we go. Champions of Serie there it is, official. After 38 games, Roma actually got a point. So we finished three points ahead of them. But now we have the biggest game of the season versus PSG. I tell you what, they sure are rocking that narrow formation. They've got Safik as a center back, Pedro as a striker. Where's Messi? So random. They've even got Declan Rice in there. But this is how we're going to line up. I mean, if we win this final here, do we even do a season two? But that's the last thing we want to be thinking about now. We just want to try win it. And that's not going to be easy because Kylian Mbappe, PSG. It's possible though. Early Oh No, I don't believe it. We're 1-0 down like that. Vertinia with the goal. That 
is a terrible start to this game. That is not what we wanted to do. Here's Zielinski coming forward. Uh, do you know what? Just going to take the long shot. He hits it just about saving it. Yeah, this corner in the box. That's a good one. Ozzy with header. What a like that. What a first 20 minutes of this one. Ozzy gets the goal. We may be Napoli, but we are ready. Your PSG. We are a bigger club than them. We don't play in an absolute farmer's league. And they've never won a European trophy. And we have... Lozano slips that in behind there. Victor Ozzyman. Fantastic chance. Nope. Oh, what a save. Yeah, this corner in the box. Ozzyman, maybe another header. Here's Kim Min Jae. Gets one in the box. Header back post. Still not gone. Out wide. Smash it in the box. Another corner. Here's Oliveira. Can we cross one in? Back post. Ozzyman. Oh, what a save. How on earth? Are we not scoring that? Get it back in the box. Ozzy nope. Mahana, what a save. I tell you what, we're actually going to win this cup final. We have too much passion. Here's Pedro through on goal. Tries to get it across. Good defense. Not gone, though. Still not gone. Vitinha. Oh, that 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 should have been a goal. I tell you what, if we win this, I will do the trophy lift in a tuxedo. Here's Lozano. Power shot goes to hit one. Good save. Approaching half time, and this has been a fantastic first half. Lobotka, edge of his boot over the bar. Vitinha, the goal scorer. Petro, that's a run out wide there for Hakimi. Oh, what a spot. Vitinha, 2-1 Paris. He's got his second goal of the game. What a game he's having. I was concentrating too much on Hakimi. Didn't even see that pass. Here's Lozano. Slip that there. Back to Ozzyma. What a save. Oh, that's a throw there to Cavada Tiskilia. Here he comes on the left-hand side. Can he get the equalizer onto that right foot? Makes a pass. Ozzyman. Lozano to all. What a goal, Napoli. Lozano gets Naples back in it. The second goal. 2-2. Two -two. Fantastic stuff there. Donnarumma, you're not stopping that one. Oh, no, no, no. Mendes. What a bit of defense. Cavada. Out wide there, Zielinski. Can he get there? Oh, he's won it. He slips that there to Lozano. Lozano, he's going to sweat it there to Victor Ozzyman. We've got 15 minutes to play, and we're winning. The tuxedo could very well be coming out. The Champions League trophy could be coming home to Italy. I mean, to say that, it's home's probably Madrid. They've won it 14 times. We could get another here. Zambo. Chips that up there. Takes a block. Free kick. Please be... Oh, what an opportunity. Eight minutes to play. Do not mess this one up. You have to be getting this over the wall. Decent amount of power. Come on. Get it over. It hits the wall. It frustrates me how bad I am at free kicks. Oh, no. Leo Messi could do Whee! it for Paris. Always oh, dig the keeper. I don't believe it. In the final three minutes of the game, Messi gets an equalizer. Donnarumma. What, why on earth is Rico on the game? I swear Donnarumma. Room was playing. So one last shot in 90 minutes of winning it. Victor Rosimont. Go on, make that run. Get it out wide. Good bit of play. Slips that to Lozano. Oh, he's offside. So extra time now. If either side don't get the job done here, it will go to penalties. Lobotka gets that out wide. We've got Zielinski in the box. We cross it in. Headed away. Oh, nice pass that. We can get this one straight back in. Penalty, perhaps. Free kick. Oh, it's at your box. What a chance here. We're going to put the effort on goal. Absolutely bladder this. Lobotka is hit it straight into the wall. Nice bit of play. Oh, what a pass. Lozano. Lozano there. Pokes. Oh, we skied it. Well, keeper saved it. Get this one in the box. Zielinski comes at your box there. We hit it. Oh, you're joking. We have a handball. If we miss this, I'm going to be fuming. You cannot be missing this. We've got... That's gone into the wall, hasn't it? Over the wall. Oh, the post. I tell you what, we should be winning this. If we lose this, it'll be so upsetting. We've had so many opportunities. Is Cavada to Skillia. Beautiful bit of play. Now Victor Ozzyman. Back out wide to Cavada. Oh, we've got Zambo in the box. Dreadful. And that's it. That's extra time. It goes to penalties. This is literally the World Cup final. I tell you that. We're going to put this to the right hand side. Donna Rumor in goal. Oh, just go away. Now, here comes Neymar. He's going to go to the right Whee! also. He penenkes it down the middle. Don't a rumor and goal from penalties. Oh, come on. You just sound like a pizza topping. Come on, put this to the left. There we go. That's a goal. Now, here's Mbappe. He's going to go to the left. He goes to the right. Gavala Tiskilia is also going to penenker it down the middle. Don't a rumor is going to dive. Yeah, take that, Neymar. Leo Messi to the left. Oh, he's missed it. Leo Messi has missed a penalty. We're smashing this one down the middle. And we also miss it. Dak Clem Rice. Oh, the right. Oh, he's missed it. I don't know if that was a save. Or he hit the post. The right back. 
clutch player all season. Oh, it's gone. If they miss this, if we save this, we are champions. It's Fabian to go to the left. He scored. I don't know if we win if we score this, but we're going to go to the right. Please score. He scored it. So it comes down to this now. Hakimi. Oh, he's definitely missed this. To the right. What a save. We've won the Champions League final. Merit with the save. Napoli in season one. How on earth have we just done that? I promised it. We've done it. I should have had this on the whole game, to be fair. But it's now... Now time to lift the biggest trophy in club football. You guys need to let me know in the comments. Do we continue this series for a season two? I think we do. It'll probably be a two-season career mode. We've won the league. We've won the Champions League. But we haven't won the Coppa Italia. We are missing that. It's the right back to lift it. Well done, Napoli. What a season it's been. What a competition it has been in the UCL. 32 goals, 10 assists, and 53 for Ozzyman. 27 and 8 for Cavada to Skilia. Now, 86 overall at 22. Do you know what? Now we've won the Champions League, we don't need to sell players like Ozzyman. Cavalati skill it. And that 30 million budget limit will most likely get lifted next season. If you guys are excited for season two, drop a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. What a season it's been. Thanks for watching, guys. What is here? Barcelona career mode. My second channel is here. In season one, we won the Serie A title, beating Roma to it. And we beat PSG to win the Champions League final. But unfortunately, bottled the Copper Italia to your Venice. So the Napoli career mode is back with season two. So I guess our goal for this season is to retain all them trophies and finally win that Coppa Italia. And stay tuned because, of course, it's a brand new season and we have brand new kids. Our budget is 131 million and the squad has been upgraded. Players have been boosted, got better potential. As, of course, we did win the Champions League. That could happen at IRL, by the way. Cavada to Skilia is now 88 overall. Raspadori 85. Zielinski is now a centre mid. 86 overall because Raspadori is so good at Cam. He has to be starting. Center back partnership is strong. I mean, Antonio Silva will be very lucky to keep this guy. He's 19 years old. He's 84 overall. He's very fast. A Real Madrid, a Bayern Munich might be coming in for him. The keeper was 82. He's now 85 because, of course, he, you know, he won the league and the Champions League. The only player leaving really from the starting 11 last season is Lobotka and he's been approached by Man United. They've offered 35 million. He's valued at 30. So we're going to negotiate this and try and get rid of them. Let's try and get 40 from them. Of course, last season, we had a limit of 30 million per player. They said yes, 40 million. I said we had a limit of 30 million last season. We have 131 million now. But because we won the league and the Champions League, I'm going to just take away the limit. Because it doesn't matter what happens this season. It will probably be our last because we won everything last season. But I feel we could really do with a right winger. A fantastic right winger to go with this front three. A player like right Rodrigo from a Real Madrid would cost between 80 and 100 million. That is a lot of money. Or maybe Platter. He's 79 overall, so it doesn't really work. Would cost between 40 and 50, a nice budget option. Or we could go in for a Moussa Diaby. This guy would be far too much money. We can't be spending 110 million. So my favorite option right now is Rodrigo. If we can kind of get him for around 80 to 70 million. We have a mega big offer for Aussie Mum right now. 160 million from Arsenal. I mean, that's amusing. Absolutely not. But it's official. It's gone through. 40 million Lobotka from Napoli to United. And the game rates that one a B. So now that's gone through, we're actually going to put an offer in for Rodrigo because he might actually go up to 85 and then we have to pay for more for him. 65 million is his valuation. So if I go in with like 79, please don't come back with like 100. 84. That is a good deal. Let's, let's take that to 81 million. They say yes. That, I'm happy with that. I don't think I've ever properly use this guy. I know we did a Madrid career mode at the start, or near the start of this FIFA. Five-year deal is going to say yes, he does. I mean, he's going to be one of our highest paid players right now. 200k a week. Probably our highest earner per week. And he says yes to that. So here he is, our first signing of season two in the new Napoli kit. A little bit of a teaser there. We're now with Adidas. 81 million and the game is going to rate this an A definitely every day of the week. We currently have this backup striker who we're going to sell. He's 28, 70 
77 overall and has literally no pace. We have our Youth Academy prospect we got at the start of this save. Christian Colombo, what a name. 18 Italian, 81 overall. I did give him a little bit of a boost, you could say. To, you know, make it interesting. You guys said when I loaned him out, though, he's a defender. His stats are for a center back. But he was a striker and he had okay stats for a striker. Do we have a problem? Take a look at his stats. He can literally play anywhere. He can play as a center back quite comfortably or as a striker. So we're just going to keep him like it. He can come off the bench as a center back or a striker. He can do what he wants. So time to look at the new kit. Here's the home one. Rodrigo a Brand new signing. Number 10, by the way. That suits him. As I said, we're now with Adidas. We've got a slight new logo as well. It's had a bit of a redesign. Amazon sponsor. A bit like the United career mode. But last season, it was actually on the sleeves of the Napoli shirts. The pattern on the shirt is amazing. The kit looks really, really good. Now, Antonio Silva, probably one of the most valuable players in this side to reveal the away kit. Again, new Napoli badge, the Adidas and Amazon sponsors. I think this is kind of like a, a pinky white, a gray. I'm not too sure what color this is, but it's nice. The kit maker has done a great job on this kit. Oh, now I'm seeing it's got like a, a Napoli logo as the pattern on the shirt and the shorts. I mean, great job on the kit. And now the goalkeeper kit. The third kit does exist, but for some reason it doesn't work with the realism mod. And we need the realism mod to get the badge of Napoli and all the other teams. So we're just going to go without for now. But the goalkeeper kit actually is really, really nice. Gray, black, white. MLY who makes these kits always does a good job on the keeper kits. IRL, I don't think keeper kits look nice at all. But big shout out to MLY once again for making these kits. Link to his channel in the description. Go check out his work. If you guys wanted to make you a PC kit mod, then his links are in the description. Now you guys are probably surprised we've only made one signing in Rodrigo. But to be fair, with this squad having a boost in rating and potential, we don't really need to sign anyone else. The main position was goalkeeper to improve, but now Merritt is 85. We don't need to, and 85 is a fair rating for him. I mean, the bench is strong. We've got some good depth. We do have 74 million left to spend. Kibala Tiskili has got four years left on his deal. Ozzyman, basically two, so we could re-sign Ozzyman to a better deal. These players basically committing themselves to Napoli and getting a bit of a wage boost. To be fair, I should have given him one nasty release clause and no one would come anywhere near 200k a week he says yes big club start up seasons with opportunities to win more trophies we have a super cup versus roma an italian side which is nice to see no need to make any changes starting our full strength 11 and we get to see rodrigo play for the first time harvey barnes for roma that's an interesting jacka they've made some really interesting signings of course they've still got chris smalling at the back of oh, raspadori fantastic gets the ball out wide to cavallo as well what a team this is Cavalla onto that right foot is can he keep it no he can't that's a run by Oliveira who wins the header Raspadori still Raspadori as he got the finish oh it's a handball Roma are a very good side they were the team we're in a title race with and they are playing well half an hour into this game they're defending well here's Zielinski on the ball gets that out wide to the right back can we work this one in the box we do Cavada the header can get to it but well, we haven't really created an opportunity in this game to be fair Ossiman's making the run over the top now we do Ossiman touch Finish blocked. Ozzyman. Nope. Oh, near post. What a save. Out wide. Cavada. Now Ozzyman slips that there to Rodrigo. <laughs> oh, over the bar. That should have been it. This game has seen basically nothing happen. Here's Rodrigo. That's a run there for Ozzyman. Can he get there, though? A hard tap sober. What a signing. Oh, no. Belotti blocked corner. We've got a couple of minutes left off the 90. Roma could win it here from the corner. Whipped in. Or we could get it away and win it. I mean, keeper. Well, uh, just header it away. Corner whipped in. We do get that headed away. We could win it here. Raspadori slips that out wide. Rodrigo. Oh, yes. Come on. The new signing could win it here. He's not going to sweat it. He's going to hit. Oh, what is he? doing don't tell me i've signed a right footed left winger oh i have i don't believe it what a fraud why have we signed a right footed right winger couldn't hit a boat to the ocean right there what on earth was that we whip it in awful we, we're going to extra time i don't know why we signed him i should have checked that right foot here comes Zelinski. oh that first touch was stunning here comes the right back he's gonna cut inside there still the right back still got it out wide there cavallo to Skellia! Post one now. There we go. That's the goal.
goal in extra time. I don't want to go to penalties. Please, no pens. We won the Champions League final on pens. What an assist by the right back. He just took everybody on. Oh, here comes Roma, though. Harvey Barnes. Bellotti on the ball. Still Bellotti. Bellotti hits it. Good save. Here's Lozano on the ball. Ossiman still on the pitch. Victor Ossiman slipped in. A second goal would seal it here. Victor Ossiman, 97. Finishing 2-0. There's not a chance enough that he misses that right there. And that's it. Full-time 2-0 win over Roma. What a fantastic way to start off season two. I hope we have like a community shield after this as well for winning the league title. Here we go. The right back to lift it once again. He lifted the league. The Champions League. Now the UEFA Super Cup. The trophy is coming home to Naples in the name of Napoli. What a way to start off the second season. So many more trophies to come. How much City? 175 million for Cavada to skill it. Absolutely not. Our first game in Serie A is a 4-2 win versus Cagliari. And we get a 2-1 win versus Atlanta at home. Lozano and Elmas. To be fair, guys, we could actually do with a new back at right back because this guy on the right is 22 and he's 71 overall. I mean, that's not amazing. Now, we could go for someone like Sergio Des from Barcelona. 22, we don't have his scout report, so we don't know how much to offer. We're just going to have to guess here. I'm going to go in for like 27 million, 28, 27. That's the waters real quick. They want Dembele. 33 plus 5 million. Okay, we'll get rid of him. 30 million. See what they say. 36? This guy must be like 81 overall. 32 million. Leaves us with 60. That is 5 for January. The 32 million is the fee. This is where we find out if it actually is a good deal. An A. So it is. He's 80 rated at 22. I am surprised we paid that much for him. Now, we have Juventus away now. And if you take a look at their squad, they still have some very, very good players. In fact, they've probably got one of the best squads in the league. So we need to be very careful here. We need to play good football. I mean, don't pass them the ball. That would be a good start. Oh, here's a good opportunity. Number 11. Nope. What a save. Here's Rodrigo on the left-hand side. Probably where he should be playing. If he is indeed right-footed, which he is. Here he is. Rodrigo. He's missed it. We've signed a Real Madrid reject. He's awful. What on earth we playing him for? I'm pretty sure he's sits on the bench. Do you know, he's got the number 10 shirt as well. An iconic shirt at Napoli. I really do regret signing this guy at this point. I don't know what on earth he's going to do this season. I mean, he's just been tackled there. I mean, I, did we keep the receipt? I'd pay 40 million more for Dearby. At least we still have Ozzyman and Cavada out wide. Here is Victor Ozzyman. That's a ball to play there. Through the gap. What a pass. Here is Raspadori. <laughs> Straight down the middle. Is the right back. Here he is. The biggest fraud on the pitch. It is Rodri Rodrigo goes for a pass shot, takes a block. Raspadori hits one. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Rebound. Oh. Here comes Aussie man. Oh, he can slip that there to Raspadori. This guy is like 88 finishing, by the way. And he's hit the post. Here's the Alinsky. He's hit a rocket there. What a save. Whipped in. Get your head on that. Oh, it's bouncing around. Just kick it. Looks like this game is made to make it awkward to play. Here's Rodrigo. Useless. The Alinsky on the ball. Could put this back post. Ossiman's there. Oh, in the box. Raspadori. One now. Finally, we get the opener. It's the cam. He doesn't miss it this time. Fantastic touch and turn and fantastic finish. Oh, no, 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 no. Good block. What? What? What on earth was I? What am I looking at? What on earth have I just looked? This game is so bad. EA is so bad, man. Look at this. He gets the ball. This guy comes sliding in. And then all of a sudden, the crowd's going mad. And there's a penalty. I better save this. He's going right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What on earth is this game? I mean, Juventus and their referees, man. It's an absolute joke. We've nearly just had two points stolen from us. Here comes Cavada. And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. Three points in the bag. Oh, man. Man, that was a close one. We've just given the manager a kiss. A UCL group's been drawn for this season. We're facing Spurs, Ajax, and Upwell. And we kick off the group stage with Spurs. If you take a look at their side, they've actually replaced Kane with Schick. Defense is looking good. We have a few tired players, so we might make a few changes. At CDM, for example, and on Ballet. Of course, we're going to start him. He's going to score. Here's Rodrigo on the right. I should have played Lozano thinking about it. 
Ooh, oh, look at him. He's being silly. Try, trying to get himself in the 11 with that pass, even though he is in the 11. See, what Spurs need to understand, do you know what they probably do understand, is that this is our competition. We won it last year. We're going to win it again this year. Raspadori over the bar. Here comes Cavada. Slips out there to Raspadori. Raspadori onto that right foot. Still got it. Pass out wide there to Rodrigo. Oh, past the post. Oh, we could go on a bit of a run here. Get that out wide there. Maybe back to to him. Raspadori. Oh, what a pass there to Ozzyman. Now the right back making a run. Now Cavada in the box. What a goal that is, Napoli. 1-0. Naples goes mad. Cavada to Skellia. Ozzyman pass to the right back. First time ball in the box. First time finish. Back of the net. We'll all go in the Champions League. We kind of need that second goal. We've got less than 10 minutes left to play. And Spurs could very easily get that goal. Here comes Brian Hill on the ball. Oh, nice tackle. Kim Min Jae. Nice pass Raspadori. Here he is. Now Andombele slips that in behind there for Ozzyman. Could get an assist on Dembele. Still Ozzyman makes the pass. Yeah, dreadful. I tell you what, Spurs have played well. Defensively, they've just done absolutely nothing going forward. And that is not the case in the last counter-attack of the game. That is it. That is three points in the bag. First game in the group. Back to Serie playing Torino. 2-1 win. Ozzyman and Zambo. And a 1-0 win versus Genoa. We have Roma up next. Our biggest rivals in this series so far. We Five games in, five wins, 15 points. Inter are top, but they've actually drawn a game, so we could go two points clear from them. This Roma game will be next episode, guys. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Want to see a Barcelona career mode? My second channel is here. Cabana Tisquilia could be leaving. He's recently sent us this message, which is saying, hey, boss, if I get an offer from Real Madrid or Barcelona, please accept it as I want to leave. Now, of course, this is a big season for this squad. Last season, we won Serie A. We won the Champions League. Of course, this season, we want to retain all that. We made one signing to the 11. That was Rodrigo. And I did not realize he was a right-footed right winger. But I kind of wish we didn't buy him. We do have 54 million for January. But there's no way now we'd be able to sign a Diaby. I mean, he's just signed for Real Madrid. We're currently second in the league. We have a game in hand. We've played 5-1-5. And our very next game is against Roma. Take a look at that Roma side. It is looking good. The defense, the midfield, and the attack. This is not going to be an easy game. Of course, Roma were the side last season that were in a title race with us. And not any old title race, a very intense title race. This is how we're going to line up. Oh no, here come Roma early on. Tammy Abraham, good opportunity. Passes it out wide. I thought that one in. Was he even onside? Is Rodrigo. That is a run by the right back. We'll play it through the gap in the middle. Now looking for Cavana to Skelly. I want to go. 1-0 Napoli. The man who could be leaving gets his name on the score sheet. A fantastic ball from Rodrigo. A fantastic ball from the right back and that is a finish here's rodrigo again nice pass there to the right back again who slips that to Ozzyman. Can he get there? Oh, T-Fender just about. We can win the header though. It's Cavalli to Skillia. A long shot on that left. <laughs> but oh, that was so close. What a fantastic effort that was. That's a bad kick by the keeper. Now Rodrigo. He's had a good game so far. I tell you that. We're going to come into the box here. Try and make the pass. We've made it. Nope. The shot. What a save. To be fair, it's very possible that Cavalli is actually playing really well here because he's trying to get that move. Here's Almas on the board. Tell you what, Roma have done absolutely nothing. Cavada, nice dribbling. Not going to make the pass though. We've now got Fagioli. Back to Cavada to Skillia. Just going to wind one up from that angle. Oh, top of the net. Here comes Rodrigo. He's done very, really well there. Still Rodrigo. Still Rodrigo. Rodrigo to hit it. What a save. We've got a potential penalty here. Rodrigo goes short for the corner. He hits it. Is this a penalty? That is the question. Ball comes straight at him. I think it's number 28. No, it's number 2. His hand is out. That is a pen. It's Victor Osimhen to step up to take this pen. And you know what we're doing. We're going to be cheeky here. We're going to penagre it down the middle. It's 2-0. Victor Osimhen with the goal. And he sure did have the cheek to do that. Roma not having a good season at all. Oh, that's a tackle by Antonio Silva. All right, it's Tammy Abraham. You need to watch the run there. And out wide. Here's a good chance. Rainer back to Tammy. What a block. Is that a pen? That's a pen. What do you mean? Is this a pen? order. This might be a hard one. Oh, yeah, that's a pen. That's a pen. He moved the ball on. I thought he got it. That is a stonewall pen. Roma to get themselves back in it. We're going to go to the right. He goes to the left. It's 2-1. Dybala with the goal. Ozzyman 
Now Almas on the ball. Now wide to Perez. We could cross it in. Gonna cross it in here. Good chance here. Let's go. Nice bit of passing there. Beautiful bit of passing. Ball over the top there to Cabana. Takes it down. Almas goes to chip the key ball. He's hit the ball. What a goal that would have been. Tammy Abraham. Roma really looking to get that equalizer. Nope. Wins the header. What a save. It's Rodrigo. Oh, that's a foul right there. He needs to be bucked. We were going to break away. A third goal in the final 12 minutes would be fantastic. Here's Cavada. Now Almas. Good chance. Here is Almas. Now Ozzyman. Ozzyman smash it in there. Post blazes it over the bar. Oh, no. That's a but. He's onside. He's onside. Oh, no. I don't believe it. How on earth have Roma done that? It's two all minutes to play. Dybala with his second goal of the game. They may have got themselves a point here. They're playing long ball. Keeper comes out. I mean, that's fantastic. We have minutes now remaining to try win this. Get the three points in the bag. I tell you what, this squad is very capable of doing it. We have a free kick here. A final counterattack off the game. And what was that? Are you kidding me? What? A, they could win it. They could honestly win this here. Dybala's through on goal. Keeper come out. What a save. I don't know what Antonio Silva was doing, but that nearly cost us the game. Referee's going to blow it now. Yep, fantastic. What a video game. Got a 2-1 win versus Apuel in the Champions League. Ossiman with a brace. A 2-1 win versus Inter Milan at home. Ossiman and Raspadori. What a win. Now, Rodrigo is the number 10. And you guys say Napoli has retired that number. You guys know what to think about that. That's just a, a small club mate mentality thing. Doesn't matter how good a player was, there's no player bigger than the club. So we're going to have to move this guy to number 19. Don't really want to do it, but I'm pretty sure he was actually number 19 at Madrid. Was he? And we lose 3-2 to Fiorentina. That is not what we wanted. However, after eight games, we are top of the league with 19 points. And back to the Champions League. Ajax away, a 4-2 win. That's more like it. Cavality, Skilly, and Nelia a hat-trick. Ozzyman and him getting a brace. Get a 3-0 win versus Barry. Don't know who they are, but the bottom of the league. Check out this AC Milan side. They have a good defense, midfield, and attack. They've actually got Gundogan at center mid. We pretty much have a full strength, full fit side. So this is how we're going to line up. This is not going to be an easy game. That's a ball slip through there to Ozzyman early on. Big opportunity. We're going to pass on nope. it. Oh, what a save. Now here's Zielinski. Good touch. We get the shot off. Never save. Zielinski on the ball. That's a ball there to Ozzyman. Good defense, Timber. I mean, what a signing as a center back. Oh, here's Di Catalare. And Yada, what a goal. 1 0 Milan. And take a look at this play. Di Catalano, Ben Yedo, and whoever that is. I mean, that is a goal. We need to get ourselves back in it. I tell you what, Rodrigo's been good on the ball in today's episode. Look at him. He's not letting it go. And wide there, right back. Ozzyman, nice pass here. Linsky. Now to Raspadori. That's the goal back. It is onside. 28 minutes in, and it's level. Fantastic bit of play. Right back to Ozzyman. Ozzyman to Linsky, and that. That is an easy finish. Raspadori, nice ball out wide that to Cavada to Skilia. Zambo. Now we've got Oliveira. Easy save. Oh, that's a ball out wide. Messias Jr. Oh, that has to be a goal. Di Catalare, it's onside as well. This is a challenging game. Goals left, right, and center. And that is Milan in the lead again. Take a look at that. Here's Rodrigo. Oh, he gets past one. Ozzyman's there in the box. Near post. Header, what a save. I think this game is going to have a lot of goals. Ozzyman, header over the bar. It's actually enough. A corner whipped in. Ozzyman, header. Couldn't get on it. Milan get this ball up in the box. Headed away. Raspadori, oh, fantastic bit of play. Here comes Zamba. We want to get that. That ball out wide. I mean, Cavada is in a very good spot. Good ball out wide to Cavada to Skilia. Can he take it down? Yes, he can. Still Cavada. We win a, a not a corner. Are you kidding me? What on earth was that? Ben Yedda with the goal. Are you serious? This is one of the worst bit of defending I've seen. It's been terrible this episode. What is that? What in the Harry Maguire was that? There is Cavada. And he get a goal back for us here. Not going to let it go to Mori. I mean, we're, we're in trouble. They were a point behind us in the table. They're now two points clear from us. Raspadori always oh, is on the front foot here. He's done well. Can we slip that there to Rodrigo? Good bit of play. Rodrigo across the box. Just hit it. Just shoot. What am I doing? That's a bad pass. Cavada 
out wide there. Raspadori looking for Rodrigo. Rodrigo should be a goal back. Yes, it is. Yes, we've got two minutes to get another goal. You guys know exactly what we're doing here. Get absolutely everybody in the box. Two minutes extra time, which is a bit like 10 seconds in this game. And he, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, pretty much gone. Wh why? We've had, we've had five goals and you're giving two extra minutes. Why can't you do a World Cup? Where's the seven extra minutes? And we've got Monta in Serie A. It's a 2-1 win. Raspadori and Ozzyman. Back to the Champions League. Ajax and it's a 2 all draw. Lazano and Cabara. Oh, we've smashed this side. 5-0. I mean, check out all these goals. Ozzyman with a brace. Get a 3-1 win versus Bologna. Rodrigo got a goal. Kim Min Jae and Rodrigo again. How many does he have? That is the question. How many goals does Rodrigo have? Three. Three and one in 17. But right now, is just flopping. We're four games into the group stage and we're point clear currently of Spurs. So we're qualified but whoever wins this game basically tops the group. And as I said, they've got a very strong side. I mean, look at that. They've replaced Harry Kane for Schick. And this is away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What a name that is. That will make it even harder. That's a tackle, Kim Min Jae. No, Brian, what a save. I'm a little bit wary right now. If anyone going anywhere near Kim Min Jae, because he hasn't had the best of episodes. So why not pass him the ball and ask him to make a mistake? That's a fantastic ball there. That's a ball slipped through there to Schick. What a tackle, Kim Min Jae. My bad, it was actually Antonio Silva. Here's Raspadori. That's a run there for Cavada over the top. Good touch. The finish. 1-0 Napoli. Cavada to Skillia. Fantastic assist, Raspadori. I mean, Davies caught in no man's land right there. Nice Patrick Schick. Could square it. Good tackle, Silva. Here's Rodrigo on the ball. Nice bit of play. Rodrigo on his right foot. Pass shot over the bar. Here's Zambo. Nice touch. Out wide there. Rodrigo. A Trivello is at the post. Oh, Raspadori. What an interception. Now to Ossiman. Nice touch. It's on the front foot. Now to Rodrigo. Players in the box. Rodrigo getting in the box. Still Rodrigo. What is he doing? Is Cavalla. Little chip over there to Raspadori for the nope. second. Oh, what a save. Pass it. We have a bad injury hit for Patrick Chick. I mean, he's going to have to come off. How did this happen? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. They've got their keeper in the box there. A corner. Can they get a point? Oh, it's bouncing around. We can get that out, though. Oh, can we get the second? Oh, Raspadori. Raspadori, Raspadori, surely the second goal. Referee, what are you doing? This game is so bad, man. One minute extra time. What do you mean? 3-1 win versus Empoli. We get a 2-2 draw to Udinese. Last game of the group stage versus Apoel, a 3-0 win. I mean, we had top of the group anyway. Ozzyman and Cavalli to skill it with the brace. Massive game away here. Two Lazio to one all draw. Cavalli with the goal. And Ake. 0-0 to Sassuolo. What on earth we doing right now dropping these points? Verona no away from home. 2-1 win. Rodrigo finally scored. Rodrigo with the brace. He only scores when he gets a brace. After 18 games, we are fourth. We have a game in hand and we could go above Lazio who are third. This title race is a lot closer this year. Guys, we're now officially in the January window and we have 54 million to spend. Get your suggestions down below. The starting 11 strong. The bench is strong. Surely there's a player we can sign. Get them down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. Want to see a Barcelona career mode? My second channel is here. The January the transfer window is now open, and we have 54 million euros to spend. But the starting 11 needs no improvements because it's so strong. And even the bench, I mean, we've got some really good depth on here. I don't know where we're going to make a signing. But we do have this Amir, who's a center back, 82 rated at 29. What we could do is go in for this center back, Scalvini, who actually is Italian, 20, and is an exciting prospect. I don't know if we can actually swap Amir because he might be worth a lot more. This guy starts off at 71 overall, and in season two, is probably, what, 75? Or there's French centre-back Lukeba, who it does look like has just moved club. So I don't think we'll be able to sign him. But guys, don't forget, Cabaretti Skilly did send us this message last episode. Which was saying if Real Madrid or Barcelona come in for him, we need to accept it as he wants to leave. We've just got to hope they don't come in and make an offer this window. He's worth 136 million. And he's actually only on 49k a week. That's probably why he wants to go. So if we get no offers, we'll sign a new contract with this guy. Our first game is against Cremas and it's a 
a 5-0 win. Ozyman, Brace, Cavana, Raspadora, and Rodrigo. What a win. I think we're just going to go in and make an offer for this Scalvini now. I don't know how much he's worth. Gone in with 13 million, and they say that is fine, but they want an 8% Salon Clause. So let's set that. This guy's basically a third-choice centre-back now. I'm interested to see what rating he'll be. 35k a week, 150k signing on bonus. He says yes. And we've made a signing here in January. I don't know if this guy is ever really going to play. He looks like a tall centre-back. From Adelana to Napoli, 13 million. And the game rates this an ace. That's a great deal. He's 75 overall, 20 at signing prospect Italian. I feel we have made a good signing right there. We now have Empoli and it's another 5-0 win. Are you kidding me? Raspador is on fire. Rodrigo with another brace. Cavada, this side is really playing well. We have a loan offer for Scalvini. The centre-back we just signed, Aston Villa, two years. Do you know what? We're going to accept that. That's a good move for him. And it's official. It's gone through. We might as well do that because he won't grow if he doesn't play. We get a 3-0 win away to Bologna. This side is on fire at the moment. And I did rotate because we now actually have a cup final. This is like the community shield at Italy. For some reason, it's in January. I don't know why, but we're playing Juventus. And take a look at that squad. They've got a very strong side. It's not going to be an easy one. Of course, we're in this final because we won Serie A and we bottled the cup to Juventus last year. Or is Vlahovic? Oh, nice bit of defense there. If we didn't get that touch, it would have slipped through. They may have been in behind. It's Raspadori. Some great form in today's episode already. Onto that right foot. I can't move the ball on, but that's a bad pass. You know exactly what we're going to do here. Pass shot. That's wide a goal. Now, Cavada, we're going to slip that out wide to the left back. And we get this one in the box. Raspadori in a great bit of space. The touch or the finish wasn't there. Oh, we have a free kick here. Edge of box. This is a great opportunity. I mean, Vlahovic is a little bit tall. We can get this over. A decent amount of power. Please don't go into the wall. It goes into the wall every time. Here comes Raspadori. We can slip that out wide to Cavada. Cavada, Ozzyman turns his man. Can we move it on? I tell you what, Juventus are defending well. Is Raspadori now slips out to Cavada. Back in the box. Edge of box here. Let's go. Blazes it over the bar. No. Oh, what a goal. Are you kidding me? I tell you what, if there's any team I really dislike in Serie A, it's, it's Juventus. Absolutely awful right now. And they think they can roll up and win this competition. Not happening. This second half, we really need to get this game together. Start passing the ball nicely, creating opportunities. I mean, that's just not good enough. Of course he's not going to get that. Oh, there's, this could be 2-0. Nope. What a save. The rebound wasn't there. Corner Juventus. They whip it in the box. Oh, they could have won that. We get it away. Wait. Oh, here it is. Here's the opportunity. Raspadori. Now Victor Ossiman. Now Cavallo. It's scary. Oh, there we go. That's the goal. We've got 15 minutes to play. Sit down, Juve. We're back in it with Cavallo to Skillia. No chance you're stopping us now. You can pay the ref all you want. We are definitely winning this. Oh, they're passing us the ball. Is Raspadori. Guess that out wide. Cavallo. Cavallo back in the box here. Let's get 2-1. Eight minutes to play. Sit down, Juve. Look at this goal. That was wonderful. Cavallo to Skilly with the assist. Zielinski. Fantastic finish. Oh, no. What a save. If that went in, we would have been in trouble. Definitely have gone to extra time. They could still get the goal, though. Get this away. Cavallo is at a fantastic game. He could get another goal here. Cavallo to Skilia is going to get away from the defender. Still Cavallo to Skilia onto that right foot. Can he bend it from nope. this angle? What a save. Yes, win that header, Rodrigo. And there we go. We've won the Super Cup. To be fair, I don't know how I feel about winning this competition now because it does have EA Sports in the name. Can we just, like, trade it in for something else, maybe? But there we go. It's a big trophy. We're going to lift it. First trophy of the season. Well, the Napoli got the league, the cup, and the Champions League to conquer now. Back to Serie A playing Torino, and it's a 2-1 loss. What do you mean? The Leaf Bay Silver. Who are you? We have the first round of the cup here versus Fiorentina. And we will slightly rotate because we can. We have the depth. Still a very strong side. We're at home and it's a 2-1 win. Cavada and Colombo. We get a 1-0 draw to Juventus in the league. Rodrigo and Diego shot it. That's a good signing for them. Of course, last episode, we finished top of the group stage. Five wins, one draw, 16 points. And the round of 16 has been drawn. And it's not an easy one. The side we're facing happens to be Chelsea from the Premier League. 
Valley. And after 23 games, we're fourth in Serie A. We're six points away from Inner, but we have a game in hand. And the game in hand is the side above us, Lazio, by a point. And take a look at their side. They have a few good players. I'm pretty sure that's Ivan Tony up front. That's a nice ball out to the left back. He's got there nicely. Now in the box. Cavada, what a goal. What a fantastic opener that is. The ball out wide to the left back was amazing. His touch was great. The pass good. The finish amazing. 1-0 Napoli. Here's the right back. Nice counter attack. Another ball out wide to the left. We've kept possession. Nice stuff here. Cavada to the left back. Now Ozzyman slips that to Cavada. What a bit of play. Back to Ozzyman. It's Zabo. Nope. What a save. We're playing some real good football here. Rodrigo is going to get this one in the box. That's a great cross. Oh, no. Here's Ivan Tony. What a bit of defense there. Now here comes Raspadori. Can he time it well? What an assist that will be. Ozzyman. Power shot. 2-0. Our top goal scorer this season. Our top goal scorer last season, I'm pretty sure. Has scored another one. And that is a fantastic goal. Look at that. Here's the right back. Rodrigo's making the run. Nice bit of play. I tell you what, we've got a very good right back. Zielinski has won a handball there, but is it shooting range? It is. Right. Put a decent amount of power on this. Get it up and over the wall like that. Oh, save. I mean, why have they made it so irritating to take free kicks. I know if you've mastered it, it's amazing. I don't want to be practicing free kicks on a training ground. It's Raspadori. Oh, what a save. Here's Sergio coming forward. Oh, that's a nice ball. Ivan Tony, what a save. Dambo slips that. Raspadori, good bit of play over the top. That's another fantastic assist if he can get it. Ozima power shot. Oh, near post. It's 3-0. We have smashed Lazio here. Oh, here's a goal back. Surely, what a safe merit. Oh, here's a good run by Zielinski. Surely enough a goal. I'm just going to smash it from here. Oh, he's at the bar. And that's it. That's full time. 92 minutes played. A 3-0 win. Three points in the bag. Get a 2-0 win versus this side. Cavella and Endombele. 1-0 versus Udinese. We have rotated here. We get a B1 win. Colombo, Almas, and Cavella. We rotate it because we now have the first leg versus Chelsea. Away at the bridge. And taking a look at their squad. It is strong. It has improved. Not really a wing. I don't know why they're playing a door and Berardi. But here comes the first leg. Way from home. Don't get smashed. It's a 2-1 loss. Hudson Adoy. And Berardi. There's, there's me criticizing their wit. I knew they're playing out wide. And they both go and score. We beat the Swallow 3-0. Ooh, we have Juventus now in the cup. Both sides slightly tired. We're going to play Almas. We're going to rotate at center back. And that's it. We get a 2-0 draw. Ozzyman and Ozzyman. So I'm pretty sure we play a replay. I'm just prioritizing the Champions League right now. Oh, what a win this is. 1-0 versus Milan. Three big points in the bag. After 21 games, we are now top of the league with 10 games left to play and we're clear by one point. And we beat Barry 2-0. Cavara and Elmas. We did rotate a lot because we now have this massive game versus Chelsea. Away from home, losing 2-1. Do we make any changes? That is the question. To be fair, the bench is tied, so we will just go out with our starting 11. We, of course, want to be retaining this competition. We won it last season. So anybody who comes in our way right now. We'll get absolutely obliterated. Oh no, here's Lukaku in the box. We can edit that away. Here comes Zambo on the counter attack. Oh, what a tackle. I tell you what, I've put these games up to four minute halves and it feels so much harder. Is ultimate difficulty different on how long the halves are? Here's Raspadori out wide there to the right back. Not going to cross it in. Raspadori. Cavalla, Osman making the run. Can we keep the ball? Yes, we can. Oliveira, dink that in the box. Back post. Rodrigo over the bar. Oh, that's a tackle, Antonio Silva. Osman, he can lift that over the top there. Raspadori, options in the box. Pull that back. Rodrigo's there. Osman's there. Osman hits it. Osman block. Okay, Vara on the left hand side. Don't know how he's just kept that in. He can go all the way. Still Cavalla. Cavalla going to hit it. Oh, what a block. Oh, no, 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 are you kidding me? How have we just conceded that? Havertz, he couldn't hit a boat to Ocean IRL. Have they spent another 500 million since the first leg? What are we doing? But we have a lot of work to do this second half. We basically need to win 3-0. And an early goal would, of course, really help us endeavor that. Oh, Raspadori, nice run there. Still Raspadori, now looking for Cavalla. Cavalla blocked corner. Is Cavalla edge of box, Rodrigo. Now we've got the center back. What was that? Come on, you're a footballer. Zambo, yes, slip that there to Ozzyman. Ozzyman, nice pass, Zielinski, great bit of play. Cavalli to Skilia. Surely the goal back, get in. That's one. Get the ball. We need another to equalize it. We could take it to extra time, but we need two more goals. Here comes Rodrigo. He's got the pace. Can he have the accuracy on the pass? Oh, Ozzyman, surely. Oh, I thought he missed it. 
What a finish. That was elite. I really do think he put that wide. What an assist, Rodrigo. The weight, the accuracy, fantastic. And bottom corner. There's no chance the keeper stops that. Oh, here's Ozzyman. We could absolutely obliterate Chelsea now. 20 minutes to play. Ozzyman in the box. Raspadori header. Nope. Oh, what a save. Chelsea crumbling like London clubs do. Rodrigo, power shot from range. What a save. Here's Cavana. We could bend it from here. Cavana to Skillia. Oh, it's hit the post. There's not a chance Chelsea win this now. Passing the ball nicely. We're creating opportunities. Here's Zelinski. That's a run by Raspadori, but here's Rodrigo. Pulls that back. Passes it. Cavana to Skellia. Four minutes to play. It's 4-3 now the lead. Naples goes mad and shortly we're now in a quarter final. I just scored that. Where did he hit it? He hit it for like that halfway line. There is no way Rodrigo just scored that. That is the best goal I've ever scored. Are you kidding me? And it's over. 5-3. I, I, I do not know how that goal just went in. I love a good old pass shot, but Rodrigo has been absolutely awful at them. We now have Roma at home in Serie A. A 2-0 loss. What do you mean? They're not even in the top four. Great. Now we get a 1-0 draw to Genoa. And we're set for games left to play. We're now two points behind Inter Milan. But the team we now have in the quarterfinal is Bayern Munich. And they're playing a strange formation. Three at the back. That's a very strong midfield. That's a strong attack. They've got Dan Juma. Isn't he a right winger? Well, here goes the first leg. Just don't get smashed. It's a 3-2 win. Cavalli to Skillia. Rodrigo with a brace. We have Fiorentina at home here. It's a 4-1 win. There we go. We cannot be dropping any more points in the league. Just need to now get this over the line. This second leg. Get ourselves in a semi-final. And I tell you what, Bayern Munich are probably one of the favourites. Oh, Jonathan David. Oh, what a bit of play. What a goal. Jonathan David. Number 10 as well. I didn't realise he was so short. What on earth are we doing at the back right there? That's a ball out wide there for Cavalli to Skillia. Now onto that right foot. Oh, penalty. Oh, we don't need to go to VAR for that. That was terrible. Take a look at this. Delict. Stay on your feet. What's he doing? Ossiman to step up. From the penalty, is going to absolutely bladder this. Top right hand corner. That's the goal. 4 3 in aggregate. That was the end score in the round of 16. But Bayern could do what we did. They could make a comeback here. Oh, that's a fantastic tackle. Is Cavana in behind that for Ozzyman. Nice touch. Surely another goal. Victor Ozzyman save. Is Cavana. That's a run by the right back. First time to Rodrigo, maybe. Okay. Let it bounce 60 times. Rodrigo. Easy save. Another goal. Would be fantastic. Victor Ozzyman. Can he pull this back? Maybe go to Cavada. Onto that right foot. Bend it. Don't want to pass it. Oh, okay. Saliba. Is Rodrigo out wide. Ozzyman's in the box. We'll just cross this one in. Corner. Oh, that's a pen. That's a potential penalty. This really would finish it off if we get a penalty here. Ball comes in and there's arms up. Oh, his arms right by his face. Yeah, that's a pen. Why is your arm up here? Victor Ozzyman to finish it off would be a fantastic penalty. Ozzyman. Penelope gets it down the middle. Neuer dives to the left. Embarrassing. 5-3 in Africa. That will be us in the semi-finals. My PC decided to crash. I had to sim the second leg. And we won 2-1. Because, of course, we're winning. And we were definitely in the semi-final. We're facing Manchester United in the semi-final. And Juventus Madrid is the other tie. We're currently second. Two points behind top of the league in Milan. And that is our very next game. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. The finale of this series will be out tomorrow. If you guys want to see a Barcelona Carimo, click here. Last season, we won the league, the Champions League, but we bottled the cup to Juventus. This episode is the finale of this series, and we need to win the league, the Champions League, and finally get our hands on the cup. We're currently second with six games to play, and we're two points away from top of the league in a Milan. And we're facing Man United in the UCL semi-final. But our first game is actually in a Milan away. We are two points behind them. If we win this, we're a point above them. And check that out. We have a tied starting 11, so we're going to have to
to make some changes. Palombo, we've barely played with this guy, but it's got to start. Same as Lozano. Practically, the whole midfield is going to be changed here. Maybe even right back. I mean, we have depth. We have the depth to be able to do this. But take a look at that inner side. We need to be careful because this is not going to be easy. Of course, the reason I'm wearing a tuxedo is because we want to get to that Champions League final. Cavara out wide. Sergio Des, great bit of play. Dink that in the box. Win the header. Palombo won now. The youngster, the striker, the center back literally can play both positions. We've barely played with him. Perhaps we should play with him more because that was a very good header. 1 0 Napoli. Oh, no, that's a mistake at the back. Lautaro nope. Martinez, what a save, Merritt. That was an insane save there. We can just about get this out of the back as well. We can make a counter attack from this. Oliveira has found Colombo. Colombo, that's a run there by Fagioli. Fagioli gets this one in the box. Oh, we've kind of killed that there. They've signed Thomas Muller. I'm pretty sure that's Thomas Muller. I mean, here he is. He could score. He scored Thomas Muller. I kind of don't want him to score so we can see that it is him. We'd have figured it out anyway, but it's 1-1. One, one. Thomas Muller. I'd say the title is all about this game. If we don't win this, the title is practically gone. That's a ball slip through there to Lozano. It's a big opportunity. He's going to hit it on his right. Lozano, what a goal. The number 11 makes it 2-1 Napoli before the break. Fantastic assist, Colombo. Fantastic finish, Lozano. That was perfect. Oh, Lozano spun his man there really well. Can we get that to Colombo? What was that? It was a man to go to Colombo. Oh, Antonio Silva's going on a bit of a run here. We'll slip that in behind for Lozano. Lozano to Colombo. He's covered. Cavality Skillia, what a save. Oh, no, no, nope. no. Oh, how on earth did that not go in? Was it a save? It was a save off the post. Still nearly went in. Corner. 19 minutes to play. We'll nope. win the header. Another big save. I tell you what, we're too well to win this game. We could do with a third. Another corner whipped in. We get that away. Cavalla can come away with it. Colombo is in a great position. We'll slip the ball in behind for him. Surely the third goal to finish it off here. Power shot on his right. What are we doing? Why on earth did he power shot it like that? Lozano in the box. Colombo needs to be connecting to that. Colombo's in behind. Can we slip it to him? Is he going to bottle this one? Here he is to finish it off for the third. Oh, he's missed it. Colombo's really bottling it at this point. Almas, edge of box, and on Belek goes to hit one. Well, that was terrible. Come on, referee, blow it. Please blow it. That's full time. 92 minutes played. Three points in the bag. The title race is still possible. After 33 games, we're now top of the league. Clear by a point. Five games left to play. But check this out. We have Juventus now in the Coppa Italia semi-final. And we do have a few tired players. Can we actually play Colombo on the wing? Could we do that i mean he doesn't have the best dribbling stats but we might as well because cavalli is actually tied right now we'll rotate a center back and rotate the left back this is how we're gonna line up this is of course a second leg the first was two all and if it's any team i want to beat in italy it's your venice i'm really not a fan of them they have been so irritating is raspadori we can pass that there oh is he on side Ossiman, he is. It's one now. Three to an aggregate. How was he on side? I was trying to pass to Rodrigo. A corner now for your Venice. If they want to get back in it, they want to do something here. That's a good ball. We headed away, though. And that's it. That's full time. As simple as that. Literally two highlights, and we get the 1 0 win. We are in a final of the Coppa Italia. Back to Serie A. Do not be dropping any points. A 2 0 win. Rodrigo and Cavalati Skillia. Get in. Now we have the first leg versus United, we do have a few tired players, of course. Raspadori, we're going to bring in Almas. To be fair, he's 84 overall. It doesn't really matter. Look at that United side. They have Harry Kane up top. I'm pretty sure that's the only signing. And they have a new center back. But first leg is at home. And it's a one all draw. Katamira and Zielinski. Again, don't be dropping points in the league. It's Monza. It's a 3 0 win. Rodrigo with a brace. And Victor Ozzyman. Kevarati Skillia has 30 goals, 13 assists this season. 25 and six for Ozzy, man. 21 and six for Rodrigo. To be fair, when we signed him, he was a flop. He was not doing well, but it's turned out to be a good signing. But it's tied going into the second leg of this semi-final. And we get ourselves in the final for the second year running. We're rotating a setter back and almost again starting a cam. Here comes Rodrigo 
early on. Can we get this on the ground? Oh, that's an interception to low. Out wide to Rodrigo. Fake shot. The right back crosses it in. Ozima back post. Can't get his head on it. Corner here in the box. Header <laughs> one. Oh, what a save to hair. Of course, this game is at Old Trafford, so it makes it even more challenging. We're just giving them the ball there. Here's Anthony. Back hill in the box. We get it away. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's no way that's a handball. Man United had a free kick because of the handball. They cross it in the box. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's a penalty. These handballs do my absolute heading. Harry Kane is going to go to the left. He goes to the right. I don't believe it. Zero trophy merchant has made it 1 0. 2 1 on aggregate. Aussie nope. header. Oh, what a save to hair. That really was a fantastic save. We get it straight back in the box. That's a clearance. Here's Rodrigo. Can we get people in the box? We'll cross this in. Back post. Cavalli nope. to Skelly. What a save. There's no way you're saving that. Rodrigo short of the corner. Almas. Long shot. That's a handball. Surely. Please, please be a handball. They got one. Now it's our turn to have one. Oh, yes. That's a pen. His arm's out. Look at that. Look at that. Victor Ozzyman to step up here. He's going to bladder at the same place as Harry Kane. To the right. It's one all. Two all on aggregate. Victor Rosiman. That is what you love to see. Look at that. You're not stopping it. Here comes Oliveira. To be fair, we can get this one in the box. Rodrigo, the touch always hit the post. What a goal that would have been. Here's Rodrigo. That's a back post ball there. Cavara, can he take it down? What nope. a player. What a save. Now here comes United. Bruno, Anthony, get a tackle in. Good stuff. Rashford hits it. What a save. We've got 15 minutes to try and get that winner here. Man United corner. They get it in the box. Go on, headed this away. Well done. Now Kevar on the ball. I mean, he could go all the way here. Delo's not stopping him. Delo's not done anything. He's thrown a goal. Do we sweat it? Yes, we sweat it. Victor Rosima, that's the goal. Let's confirm it. 3 2. That should be us in the final if we now defend well in the remaining 12 minutes. Kevara really could have took that home, but there's no way. We're getting that across to Ozzyman. Here's Ozzyman. Oh, we could get a fourth out wide there to Kavara. Oh, he's definitely taking this one on himself. Kavara onto that right. Oh, that oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. That's why we sweat it, because he's capable of doing that. No, Lobotka bending it. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't go in. And it's Lobotka. Are you kidding me? That was a close one. It should be over. We've got the ball. We've got possession. We could maybe get another goal. It's Rodrigo. No, tackle. That's it. Ref, blow it. It's time. There we go. 93 minutes played. It's a 3-2 win on aggregate. We're in another Champions League final. Two seasons in a row. We now have Atlanta. They have literally half the points off us. It's a 2-1 win. We're facing Inter Milan in the final of the cup. The trophy we bottled last year to Juventus, we now have the chance to win it here. And when it comes to changes, do we actually rotate anyone? I mean, we could play Almas. He has played well this episode, but we're going to go with Raspadori. Oh no, what are you doing, left back? Oh, good keeping. Left back got a little bit too confident there. Oh, beautiful pass. Now Ozzyman out wide to the right back. Kavara back post. Oh, what a ball. The finish was not there. Tell hey, you what, nothing really happened in that first half. This has been a very, very tight game. Oh, that's a ball slip through. Kavara to Skillia. Could be a goal on his left foot. Smashes it. Save. Yeah, my obsession with pass shots kind of uh, denied us a goal there. Is Raspadori gets a, a ball back post. It goes out. Don't know if the yeah, have made changes to ultimate difficulty, but the, the game feels very, very different. Here's Ozzyman. Please be a goal here. Pull it back. Ozzyman tackled. Is Raspadori. Rodrigo's making the run. He can keep this in. Or do we just get it straight into the box? Ossiman, oh, straight at the keeper. 20 minutes to play now. And we still need that goal. We can win that head up. Here's Ossiman. Hold the ball up. Oh, we've got some luck there. Here's Rodrigo. Surely the goal. Rodrigo. Oh, he's missed it. How on earth are we going to score in this? Oh, Zambo. Yes, Kavara. Kavara in the box. Hit it. Nope. Rodrigo. We not scored. This is a joke at this point. Crossed in the box. Keepers on it. Oh, that's a header and a half. Here's Aussie man. Chip that up over the top there. Kavara in the box. Oh, what a goal. Zielinski. 11 minutes to play. That could seal it. I see that as the winner. Because in Atlanta, I've done less than us. Literally nothing. Look at this. Ball over the top. First time.
and pass and the finish. Fantastic. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't believe it. What is that? We've let them do nothing all game. And then this guy comes on. Never heard of him. And he pulls that out the bag. What are we doing? We've got less than five minutes now to get a goal to put us in the lead. Rodrigo goes straight around this guy. Okay, okay. He doesn't keep it in. To be fair, Inter Milan could win this here. They could win it. Handball. Ha. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was a handball. Out wide. Kevara. Back to Ossiman. Ossiman, can he get it out wide? Yes. Oh, come on. What's that? Why is he so slow and lethargic? We've brought on Colombo for Ossiman. He has been nothing but awful in this game. Extra time now. I don't believe it. How did we concede that goal? Oh, Raspadori. Fantastic. Slips that out wide. Yeah, pass it to them. Oh, no. Nice build up play here. Good play. Oh, get out. How on earth have Inner Milan just turned this around? What do you mean the ref? How's the manager on the pitch? Where have you come from? You're not allowed to do that. Go do one. Are we bottling another cup final? We're big time bottling another cup final here. Oh no, this could be another goal. This would wrap it up. What a save. So one last half of football here. Of extra time to find this goal. Al it's over. Rodrigo will make a good decision. Colombo, maybe a ball over the top. Here's Zielinski. Slip that there to Colombo. Colombo, surely the goal. Colombo, nope. oh, just get better. Yes, Raspadori, nice play there. Colombo out wide. Yes, Cavara. Raspadori's in the box. Raspadori back post. Oh, that's a handball. That, that, that's the, the, the most blatant handball I've ever seen. Okay, lift this one into the box. Win that header, looping header. Dreadful. Okay, so we're, we've put our depth all the way up. We've got a few subs on. Yes, get in. Across the box. Yes, yes. Get in. We've got the penalties. Get in. Okay, Barrett, he's killing. We still have five minutes to play. Why am I on the pitch now? You can't come on. You're making me look like a mug. It's an equalizer. That is the difference of getting everybody in the box. One last opportunity in a Milan. Our depth is still all the way up. Up, so they have a chance here. Just don't cross it in, please. Thomas Muller, don't get the ball in the box. He gets it in. Oh, could have been a pen. We're going to penalties. That's it. This has been a tense final. We have Colombo to step up. We're going to the left here. That's a fantastic pen. Oh, the goal score. We're going to go to the left here. Goes down the middle. Do you know what? We're going to go down the middle here as well. He's timed that perfectly. Keeper stays put. Of course he does. Barrea here. We're going to go to the right. What a save. What a penalty. What a penalty. He's going to go to the right here. What a save. Kavarati Skillia. Time that beautifully again. What a pen. If we save this, it's over. He is going down the middle. There's going to the left. Get in. We've won it. Merritt with the save. What a tense final that was. But we've finally won the Coppa Italia. I'm pretty sure we've officially won every trophy we can do now. We haven't won the Europa League or the Conference League, of course. We're a big club. There we go. We've won the Cup, the Coppa Italia. That is another trophy ticked off. We just need Serie A and the Champions League this season now. We get a 3-1 win versus Cagliari. Kivaro, Rodrigo, and Ozyman, the front three. With one game left to go in the league, we're top of the league, cleared by Milan now by one point. So we have to win our last game. And that is against Cromasi. How do you say their name? And as you can see, we have a full strength side. We can put out our starting 11. Let's not bottle this. Oh, that's a ball in behind there for Rodrigo. We could sweat this. We want to get the job done, so we will time it. Good stuff. Aussie man, we're going to run that in the net. Fantastic goal there. It's 1-0 Napoli. Oh, here we go. We could do it again. Aussie man through the middle. He is on side. Here's a big chance. Victor Aussie man. Power shot. Oh, is it the bar? Ooh, opportunity from the the penalty spot. You know what we're doing here. We have the cheek. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go down the middle. Get in. We've got another penalty. I'm so glad we have because I was just thinking it would be great to Penenka to the right-hand side. Can you actually do that? You can. I'm gonna start doing that a bit more. It's 3-0. Oh, this will be a fourth is Ozzyman. We chip it up here. Power shot. Wait for it to bounce. Oh, that would have been so 
good. We're going to try that again here. Here's a ball in behind. We're just going to chip it up. Pass shot. Lozano. Oh, he's at the bar. Can we get the rebound? No, we can't. And that's it. That's full time. We are officially Serie A champions once again. Two seasons running. Here it is. The captain. The right back to lift it. He's pretty much lifted everything for us. There we go. Champions. It's so good to get this. It was a much harder season, but we've made it official. We've lifted the trophy. We clutched it up at the end. And we now have Real Madrid in the Champions League final. But before we go into this one, 33 and 15 for Cavarati Skillier this season. That is just filthy. I mean, Osimhen could get the top goal scorer. To be fair, I think he will. He's going to get more than Cavar in the next game. Very good season. Same as Rodrigo. Same for Raspadori. Oh, Zielinski. 14 assists. But taking a look at this Real side, it hasn't changed too much. In fact, have they signed anyone new? Herrera, the right back from Leicester, and that's it. But we're going to go out with our strongest side. I mean, we have a full fit bench if we need anyone to come on. But Cavara, Ozyman, Rodrigo, you need to be all going. I mean, Rodrigo against his former club in this one. Now, we, of course, are playing the kings of this competition at their own ground, by the way. Oh, we'd do very well to win this early on. That's a ball with two. What a save, rebound. What a goal. Oh, Raspadori, that's that swivel on it, Real. What a way to start the game. Fantastic cross, Rodrigo. Does that count as an assist? Unlucky for the keeper. I mean, he made a good fast save, but landed straight at him. Oh, here's Vinicius. Ball roll, good stuff. The block, good defense. Oh, here's Vinicius. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Sabios with the equalizer. Madrid straight back in this one. I tell you what, that is a nice looking kit. I swear I've never seen that before. Is that a part of the kit mod? I don't know. Is Benzema. Why are we giving him that much space? That should have been a goal. Is Raspador. It slips that outside to Rodrigo. Already got an assist in this game. Osimhen's there. Back post. Whipped in. Can't get his head on it. Zielinski. Everyone get back in the box. Back post. I mean, a good ball, but no one's there. Is Benzema. You need to defend well here. Kim and Jay. Well done. Bit of a dodgy tackle. But Rodrigo. Raspador. Get that out wide. Oliveira. Now Cavarati Skillia. Good stuff. Cavarati Skillia. That is a terrible finish. Kevara, that's a run. Oh, that's a handball, surely. No? Is Respidori. Guess that out wide there. Rodrigo. Can we get that back post? Pull it back, maybe? I mean, that's not great. Terrible clearance. We can win that header. Kevara, little dig over the top there. Osima. Oh, my kick. What a goal. Victor Osima. That's for you, D Triple I. Look at this. I mean, it's against Madrid, so you might not like that. He takes it down. Oh, my kick. That is what you love to see. We're just too good in this competition. We own this competition. Oh, Kavara, so good. Yes, what a run that is by Raspadori. We can move it on. We can win that header, though. Perhaps not. 15 minutes to play. Madrid have the experience. They have the advantage. They're in their own stadium, in their own country. The away team, though, for some reason, which is pretty funny. But we have Rodrigo, former Real player, is going to make a pass there. Here's Kavara, Oliveira. Back to Kevara for the third. Oh, he's at the post. Rodrigo in the box. So how is this not a goal? Is it a foul for someone? Offside? Oh, man. We've got seven minutes to play. Oh, this is it. This is, I, I mean, if they score this, it's one of the most insane things you've ever seen. It's not going to happen, though. Oh, no. They've won the head at it. Blow it. There we go. Champions League champions. Two seasons in a row. Vamos Napoli. Fantastic. I mean, this side is so good. What a series this has been. What a team we built. I'm thinking of doing a Newcastle United career mode for the next series. But before then, you will see I saved Chelsea video. So turn the bell on. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like. We're going to lift it. There we go. The right back. The captain. Napoli. Napoli champions once again. You love to see it. Leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching this series, guys. If you want to see a Barcelona career mode, my second channel is here.